Well, hello everyone. Hi. And welcome. Welcome back to the purple website where we're going to play more Pokemon Crystal and fight a cow. Hello. Wild Dan has appeared. Two of them. I'm pretty sure I saw Emmons in there somewhere. Hey, and Will as well. Goodness. <laughs> Full house of friends today. Hello, both of you. I hope you're having a good day. Good morning. It's morning for both of you. Yeah, good morning. One shot the cow again. I intend to. This time I'm actually prepared. The cow is the last thing I know to expect in this game from past experience. Beyond that, Pokemon Crystal's a mystery to me. Today is definitely Cow Day. We are in Goldenrod City. We gotta explore a bit, but we will definitely be going into that gym, and this time we are more prepared. Hey! Thank you very much, Effervescent Winter, for those gifted subs. Very kind of you, and thank you for the 14 months tree gamer a minute or two ago. I appreciate that very much. But yeah, I hope you're all having a good day. I blame you for... Oh, hang on. Baha Bali interrupted you a little bit there with five gifted subs, which is very kind. Again, thank you very much. But hang on. Barry T. Engineer was saying a thing. I blame you for being $20 poorer, seven hours consumed, and one very cool linguistics game experienced. Chance of Sonar was awesome, and I'm excited to see you and Carrie tackle the rest of it. Thank you. I love that game. That game's great. I can't wait to record more of it. <laughs> Those are some... There are some games that are very hard to stop playing at the end of a recording session and, like, wait a while until it's time to record again. And I'm recording a lot of those lately, but Chance of Sonar is definitely one of those for Carrie and I that is maybe the hardest to stop playing. <laughs> it's very good. Hey, Jax, good morning. Can't wait to see what I think of the post-cow experience. I, too, am excited to see what this world looks like post-cow. <laughs> but yes, I hope you're all having a lovely week so far. Sorry for the lack of Tuesday streams recently. I've decided to be putting those days toward New Frame Plus stuff a bit more. I won't always do that. I think I'll play it by ear depending on where I'm at in work on an episode and how much additional time I think it needs, but... I want to make sure that I'm closing the gap between those episodes a little bit more and having an extra full day to put toward them very much helps. Especially for some of these like chunkier ones that require either a lot more footage capture or a lot more research or the script to take longer edit, just the bigger ones. And these animation of Final Fantasy ones uh, videos do tend to be a bit bigger production wise and research wise, even they're like closer to a documentary than most things I do. <laughs> I feel the need to be thorough. As thorough as I can. Tell the computer to animate it for me. Boy, if only. <laughs> uh, hey, thank you for the 13 months, Kaloguru. Very much appreciated. Research days are good. I wish, I don't think it's really that feasible, but I would love to somehow get into contact with somebody who was working at Square on the Final Fantasy team during the PS1 days to ask, like, there's somebody who worked on the animation side of things to ask, like, what that process was like for them. Because I can make some pretty reasonable guesses as to what animating characters in Final Fantasy has been like from kind of, like, 12 or 13 onwards. From there, like, tools get a lot more standardized. It looks a lot more like what I would have, what I would be... It looks more like what we'd be using today. But, like... Hang on. Uh... <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, all right. I got confused looking at chat there. Moobot blocked Emmons from posting a link. Here, Emmons, I'll, I'll fix that for you. <laughs> I will allow you to post a flattering link. You have three minutes. Use them well. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome, Prismacolored. I'm glad you could catch a stream. What was I talking about? I've lost track. Thanks for the gifted subs. Heart of K. <laughs> Streaming in alerts and whatnot do not help my attention issues. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I, it would, I, I've, I look for interviews and whatnot and everything I can find about the development of these early Final Fantasies, but it's pretty, at least of the stuff that's been translated into English, it's pretty thin on the ground. Like, they don't, there's not nearly as many folks talking shop, there's not, like with modern Final Fantasy stuff, you can go to, like, there's a, there's a, it seems kind of like an equivalent of, like, SIGGRAPH or GDC in, for the Japanese industry. Uh, or at least one that I know of. I think it's like CEDC or something like that that happens every year. And the uh, uh, Final Fantasy teams have given some talks showing off like their animation tech at those for a few years, which is great. It's really great getting a little window into it. But uh, for the early stuff, like that didn't really happen. It's really hard finding resources for those times. It'd be so cool to be able to just like get a hold of somebody and <laughs> I guess also an interpreter and just ask a few basic questions. It'd be fascinating. I'll, like, make an effort, but I'm not expecting to pull that off. I've never really tried doing that kind of... <laughs> I don't know if I've ever really tried doing that kind of, like, direct journalist practically, like, going out and finding someone and doing interviews, like, that kind of research, even with English-speaking dev folks before, much less someone in a, like... <laughs> someone in the side of the industry with a different native tongue. Maybe a bit beyond me. That seven episodes is going to be a fun one, though, whenever I get to it. Six first, though. First, one thing at a time. Someone asked a question in chat. Hang on. Um, burp, 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 burp. I have a question about what Pokemon games you'll be playing. Is it only mainline games, or will spinoffs and or remakes be in it as well? Uh, mostly, so... It, I'll be playing most all of them, most all the Pokemon games that including spin-offs that have something, some neat animation in them, but I will only be doing full playthroughs of the mainline core series, and even then probably only one version of each mainline game. So like, we played the first few gems of Pokemon Gold and then stopped because we we're gonna be playing Crystal afterward and that's mostly the same game. And we'll kind of do the same thing for like uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, and Emerald. Emerald's the one I'll play all of. Any progress on Pokemon Conquest? I do have a hold of Pokemon Conquest. That I've got. Also Pokemon Stadium too. I've got those, got a hold of those now. Both acquired. There are a handful that I would have included uh, if I hadn't been too slow on the draw with the Wii U shop closing, because there were several Really, there are a couple of releases that were exclusive to like the Wii U shop that can't get a hold of anymore, or the 3DS shop, not sure which. And a few others, like DS games, that would have been a lot easier if I'd grabbed them before that shop shut down, but oh well. For Gen 3, will it be Ruby or Sapphire? I don't remember. I want to say Ruby, but let me double check. I had a plan. Give me a minute. Let's see. Ruby is the one that I'll be dipping into for probably a couple of gems. Maybe just one good chunky stream of it. Maybe two. And then... Then we will shift. I guess we'll do leaf green after that because leaf green did come before emerald and i don't know if we'll do a full playthrough of leaf green might do just partial since it is basically red and blue upgraded and it's animation wise it's not a big change from ruby and sapphire it's basically the same approach for the most part as far as i know and then emerald will do all of though Did I catch the triple I showcase? Thoughts or excited for anything? I don't know what that is. Is is that like an indie game? I'm guessing indie game showcase, yeah? What is that? 
And what was what was cool? Do I need Pokemon Ranger Guardian signs? I think I have that one. I think. Yes, I do have that one. What am I missing still? Let me let me look at my list of maybes and see what I'm missing. I still need to get a hold of Pokemon Dash. It, though that's a pretty optional one. The spin-offs go. Uh Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, I don't have yet. I also don't have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, which is, I think, the most popular of those. And also, or maybe it was Gates to Infinity. I forget which. I do have Gates to Infinity. I don't have Explorers of Sky. And that one's, I think, pretty expensive these days. So we'll see. Uh, I don't have Poke Park 2. Uh, I also need to grab Detective Pikachu for the 3DS. And a couple others, but the, the rest of them are, like, easy to get a hold of, either, like, as ROMs or as, like, more recent Switch releases, like uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team DX, and Detective Pikachu Returns, stuff like that. that that's not going to be a problem. Slay the Spire 2. Oh, boy, that's going to be... <laughs> oh, I, I can picture a lot of people just sort of feeling a lot of their future time just vanishing in an instant. Just Thanos snapped out of existence. Explorers of Sky is amazing. Good luck getting a physical copy if you can. If not, probably would be abandoned where. So, yeah, like, I'm a little more hesitant going with emulation route for DS games just for footage sake because I don't trust the emulation, the emulator's accuracy. Uh, there's just, I've dabbled in it. It's just always, like, there's always something that's not rendering quite right. There's little artifacts or transparency that's not rendering correctly. There's always something that makes it not accurate or correct in some little, what like, finicky way. That makes me hesitant to use emulation for footage, unless there's literally no other choice. We'll see, though. Sky is technically a third version, so it's not a big difference from Time and Darkness. That's a relief. So if I can't get a hold of that one, it's good to know. Like, spinoffs in general, I'm only really recording them for context. They're, they're not the focus of any potential video I would do down the road. So if I can't get a hold of any given spinoff, it's not the end of the world. That's fine. I've got a hold of all the mainline stuff. That's what matters. When was the last time you checked the emulator's progress? It's come a long way from Decime, if, or however you pronounce it. Uh, the most recent time I was dabbling in or exploring emulation for ca footi footage capture was with uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver and kind of doing A B tests with the uh, modded capture 3DS I have here. And it's good, it's close, but there's, uh, it's, there's definitely artifacts and like little rendering issues and just like little black pixels popping up in the seams between polygons that like it's are just showing up because of just how the uh, the emulator is trying to render these things is not exactly the same way that the uh, that the original hardware does so it does so it's it's finicky stuff that most no one would notice but the fact that I can notice some details then makes me worried about what I'm not noticing right so like i uh back on the sonic video i had bought a dreamcast and copy of sonic adventure one uh to record footage because i wasn't 100 percent trusting of uh the emulator accuracy either and on the first disc i bought i noticed some kind of weirdness with certain graphics like uh there was like a, it looked like there was some textures that were popping in a little bit garbled and the disc was had some little scuffs on it so i like I was a little bit, I was guessing that was why, but it made me worried that like, I'm not familiar enough with this game to know if there's other stuff that is not showing up the way it's supposed to. So I just got another copy of the game and recorded that instead. Cause I just, I didn't want to chance it. And, and I'm glad I did because yeah, it turned out that yeah, there was definitely that first game was not running the way it was supposed to. <laughs> Uh, 
emulation is great for actually playing, but kind of unfair if you want to examine animations. Yeah, like it, it's in a lot of cases, emulators are fine, especially with these earlier like handhelds and stuff. Like I'm using emulation for these because it's a more accurate and or just better, easier way to get high quality footage that is pretty accurate to what you'd have seen. But um, sometimes, sometimes emulators will either make the game look or run or worse or render incorrectly like the examples I've been giving or there's some cases where the emulator gives a like makes the game look much nicer to an extent that it is that it is not an accurate way to view the game and its animation right so like I could when assessing Final Fantasy 7's animation later use any one of the more modern ports of the game that have come to uh, like modern consoles and PC and stuff like that uh, but despite the fact that they do like kind of use the original graphics more or less that the original game did because they're showing at a higher resolution you can see the character models in way more sharp detail than you could have in the original on the original game um you can see like the details of the faces on those little chibi models uh in a way that you could not in the original game and it it changes kind of how that animation looks to the eye and uh, I, th I think especially when you're assessing, like, these games retrospectively, going through them from game to game, kind of uh, assessing how the animation grows and improves, like, seeing them in that original context is really important. It was a bit of a ramble. I need to thank a few people, and then we should start playing the game. It's been, like, 20 minutes of starting soon. <laughs> uh... So, yes, let's see. Thank you, Heart of K9, for the five gifted subs, in case I didn't say that earlier. Uh, and thank you for the 19 months, Zephleos. I appreciate it very much. Hey, Dan, long time fan. Been watching since the Penny Arcade days, but first time joining the stream. Very happy to be here. Hey, welcome, Kalinor. Thanks for watching for such a long time. Boy, that has been a long time. <laughs> but welcome. And welcome also to Lordapos. My understanding is that Explorers of Sky is more like a repaired version than an upgraded version. There's a mission in the Time and Darkness where your ally has one in four chance to kill itself and reset the mission. The instant it sees an enemy. Well, that's rough, but... <laughs> it's good to know that I've got a version of more or less the same game and that we're not missing something super important for that one. Uh... So does anyone know any good... No good games? Better if it can help them learn to read for kids like five to seven years old. My little cousins can finally play, but I don't know what to give them. Hmm. That is a good question. Chat, feel free to give recommendations on this one, too. I'm trying to think. Like, so I can think of, like, lots of good games that are good for younger kids just as little simple play things. I'm trying to think of ones that are also, like, have text and give a good opportunity for uh, learning reading as well. Hmm. Little Gator game is pretty good and, and like very forgiving and does have a lot of text in it. I wonder if it has like, I wonder if Little Gator game has too much text. I think that, that one might be for kids a little bit older, I feel like. I feel like the appeal of that one would kind of go over a five to seven year old's head. Uh, hmm. Scribble Knots is not a bad idea. Kirby games definitely pretty good for like simple, forgiving, cute, and fun. I don't know how much for reading, but uh, I have heard that the newest Kirby game, Forgotten Land, is actually a great one for playing with a kid, since you can kind of do one of those Nintendo two-player things where like player two is just sort of like assisting, and so it feels like you're playing cooperatively. So if you're wanting to play through a game together, uh, and that one does have some text in it, not a lot. Kirby games usually don't have a lot, but that one might not be a bad idea. Uh, your kids loved Kirby, Luigi's Mansion, and Mario Party games. Mario Party games have a fair amount of text, too, for, like, instructions, if nothing else. Pokemon's also not a terrible idea. Like, it might be... They might need another year or two to be able to kind of wrap their head around it, like, play-wise. But especially with the newer ones. Yeah, actually, with newer Pokemon, I bet new Pokemon would actually probably be a great choice. Like... One of the, either, like, Sword and Shield or Scarlet Violet. Like, I think five-year-olds may have a hard time, but seven-year-olds, I feel like, by that point, they're probably ready to start figuring it out. 
Ooh, yeah, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Might be even better. Yeah, good suggestions. Hopefully that's helpful. <laughs> I mean, you know your kids better than we do, but... But yeah, yeah, I think... I agree, Jax. Like, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee do feel like the most young kid friendly in terms of, like, scale of game, relative simplicity of mechanics. And yeah, Calornor, that's kind of what I was sort of thinking, like like you were saying, like, as a non-native speaker, I expanded my English vocab a lot by playing JRPG games. And so like, and yeah, like RPGs having so much text is a really great way to like have a neat game and story and everything that does also require a good bit of reading. And so like Pokemon might be that perfect sweet spot. Does Pokemon work a lot since there's a lot of made up words? I get like that could be a little bit of a downside, but I feel like since kids are also going to be so like any kid who's into Pokemon is going to be like rapidly excited for that stuff. Like, oh, I want to learn all the Pokemon. Like, I think if anything, that's a draw for the kid that then they also accidentally learn some real words along the way. And good point that at least helps with phonics and like learning letter sounds and stuff like that. Yeah, actually, I think I think a more recent Pokemon, probably Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, would be my recommendation, depending on their tastes. Anyway, that's a lot of talking and not beating up cows and Pokemon. Let us shift on over. So... I've shifted the in-game clock, or, or rather my computer's clock, so that uh, we can do a little bit of morning time. I looked up a bit what like what time of day changes it sounds like. Um, in addition to kind of like changing the color palette of the environments, time of day also changes like encounter. So yeah, like we got like a little bit more of a yellow orange tint going on. For that sort of sunrise look. But, um... It, it sounds like it changes the Pokémon you encounter in the wild. Uh, not as much between morning and day. Morning, just... In the morning, you run into more bugs. Uh, and at night, there is, like, a much more different encounter sort of list. And also, there's gonna be, a, like, a lot fewer trainers out and about to challenge you. Uh, either in the early morning or late at night. In the middle of the day is when most of them are apparently out. With some exceptions. Like, um, last stream we ran into that, uh, police officer who challenged us late at night, which I'm guessing wouldn't have happened in the day. Which is kind of neat. Given we're gonna be here in town for a little while, <laughs> I suppose we may not run into that many unique Pokemon encounters, but still. So, Last we left off, we'd pretty much just arrived in this town. We have not explored at all, so let's do that. Hey, thanks for the six months, maybe Tara. Very much appreciated. So let me see. Sorry, I had a thing I was gonna pull up for my own little screen here on <laughs> on my laptop and I closed it. Let me find it again. Where are you? There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. So. Talk to me. The Radio Tower in Goldenrod City is a landmark. They're running a promotional campaign right now. They'll modify your Poke Gear so it can also serve as a radio. Oh. Let's remind ourselves of our team as well. We got Sintret here, mostly handling all our HMs. We've got Quilava, our starter, doing pretty good. We've got Whooper, who has not had a lot of uh, lower level than I remembered, but I guess Whooper's not really going to help us that much in this upcoming fight. Geodude, who is going to carry us through this next gym, hopefully. 
Also, we've got a Zubat and an egg. We also have an Oddish who we're raising up with the hope that we can get either a Sun or Leaf Stone, I forget which, and turn it into kind of the new final evolution that Gen 2 added. Sunstone, thank you. Glad y'all are here. <laughs> because my knowledge of this game is limited. Let's check the mark. Mom's good at bargain hunting. She always buys stuff at lower prices. A word of warning about Belossum. If you evolve it too early, you'll be stuck with a 20 power absorb as your only damaging grass move. Also, it would no longer be able to learn the Sludge Bob and TM. Yeah, I'm, fortunately, I'm guessing uh, <laughs> we'll have some time before I manage to get a Sunstone. So, but it's good to know. Yeah, we will, we will hold off on evolving into Belossum until we're ready. The department store has a decent selection, but some items are only available as Game Corner prizes. Sunstones for winning first place in the bug catching contest. It's an RNG fest. Save state before starting. Good to know. It might be a bit good for us to find a grass type fallback in case that proves too <laughs> cumbersome to manage to do on a stream. Do we still have the day set to Thursday in game? Asking for after the mill tank fight. It is, yeah, I've not changed like the day itself, so I think it should still be considered Thursday. We can check our clock. Yep. Welcome to Goldenrod Department Store. What are you selling? What do I have? I should refresh on the inventory before I go purchasing things willy-nilly. Berries, poison berries, antidotes, bitter berries, a lot of berries. Paralyze heal. Super potions, a revive, ether. All right, we need more Pokeballs. That's, no, wait, no, wait, they're in a different pouch now. That's right. Could use some more of those anyway. One more of thems. If you're looking for a Gen 2 grass type that doesn't need a sunstone, your only option is the Hopip line. Which we could go with. Sounds like even evolved Hopip is not an incredible contender, but like. I mean, we're gonna get through the game. We don't have to have the best of the best lineup. Jump Luff's okay. I'm tempted. Once we get an EXP share, maybe we'll get Hopip in there <laughs> on the team. Start soaking up some of the crumbs that fall off the table. I got my Abra at the game corner. Now it's my best partner. This department store makes me realize that Goldenrod's a big city. The selection here is unmatched anywhere else. It is quite large. Lots of Pokemon merchandise. <laughs> if it's not Pokemon related, this world doesn't want to hear about it. It does not care. I, I, I'm really impatient. I use X-Speed in battle to speed up my Pokemon. Nope. I'm good. Hopefully won't be relying on items to win Gem 3 nearly as much this time. Um, nope, 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 nope. A little rich for my blood right now. My personal preference for a grass final Evo teammate in this game is Vile Plume. To be honest, Bellossom loses a lot, but if you're trying to go all Johto Pokemon for a team, sometimes you gotta just go with it. Yeah, I feel I feel like that's a fun gimmick for us to stick with going through all these.
sticking with latest gen for our team. You can't rename a Pokemon, you get in a trade. Which is fair enough. Mystery gift. With just a little beep, you get a gift. <laughs> Still don't understand that, child. I'm good, thank you. Is this one also a shop? Yes. Oh, for TMs. An electric punch, a fire punch, ice punch. Uh, and I think that one's headbutt. Yeah, so if we need headbutt on anybody else, we know where to get it. Am I playing the Pokemon games to completion? Uh, not all of them, but at least one version of each Pokemon game, yes. So, we didn't play Gold all the way through, but we will finish Crystal. We won't play Ruby all the way through, but we will finish Emerald, etc. Do you still listen to Lucky Channel? If you want to win, trade Pokemon with as many people as possible to get different ID numbers. Hmm. If you're tired, try the vending machine drinks. Your Pokemon will love them, too. Don't mind if I do. I have a lemonade for old time's sake. Am I trying for new evolutions? I completely understand if you don't want to bother. The happiness level thing can be super tedious. I'd maybe be down for trying that out. I do like me a good Eevee. Oh, wow. Will you quit bothering me? <laughs> I like him. Yeah, I thought the rooftop was... I didn't remember the rooftop being in gold. I was wondering, did I just not go up that last floor last time? I'm tired. I sometimes come up to the rooftop to take a break from shopping. They have bargain sales here every so often. Neat. Pardon? Who said this is an adult can't get into this? I'm going to be back every day to collect all the dolls. <laughs> I understand. Down, please. Can't do much in the basement, but I do want to see it. If you want to know when the bargain sales are, you need Camper Todd's number. He's just south of town. Oh, that's neat. Hey, kid, you're holding us up. Our policy is to work behind the scenes where no one can see us. Am I stopping productivity? Are none of you allowed to work if I'm watching? <laughs> You've played the game too much, you have some of the NPC names memorized. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Your playground, Goldenrod City Game Corner. Ah, yes. I couldn't win at the slots, and I blew it on card flipping. I got so furious, I tossed out my coin case in the underground. Right, that's what we gotta go do. I taught Blizzard to my Pokemon. It was hard to get enough coins for it, but it was worth it. Reminder to... With, for trying Whitney with Geodude as the last Pokemon so you can see what Whitney's normally like. Yeah, we can try that. Why not? Whew, this is one big town. I don't know where anything is. Same. Underground entrance. Okay. Would you use Pokemon that aren't really seen the gen they're from? Skarmory's an amazing Pokemon that isn't really seen in Gen 2. Uh, like we can use them, but I feel like... For the most part, I'll try sticking with uh, our main roster team being all new additions whenever I can. Are you a trainer? I got a useful phone number for you. Uh, okay. Oh, Bill. Cool. 
My big brother Bill made the PC Pokemon storage system. Right, it's Bill's house. Oh, you collect Pokemon. My son Bill is an expert. He just got called to the Pokemon Center in uh, Critique City. My husband went off to the game corner without being called. Lucky Channel. Yeehaw! How y'all doing now? And that's the show. What else we got? <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in the basement of the department store. The festive city of opulent charm. <laughs> I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Right! We're not far from bicycle time. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your centret. It's quite cute. Thank you. I know. When I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glad. I keep losing in battles, and my Pokemon end up fainting. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me much. Hey, thanks for the 19 months, Barrel of Games. Just the thing to make me feel better on a sick day. Well, I hope you do feel better, like actually better from sick soon, but also welcome. <laughs> the world is a cycle path. Bike shop. That slogan could use work, but excited to have found the bike shop. <sighs> I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? No one can find your store. Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yes. Really? Great. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Thank you. My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. Love that. Would it be worth it to make a chat command that explains which games you are and are not playing so you don't have to keep explaining it to chat? That probably would be. I'll, uh, see if there's a concise way to add that as a chat command that's not going to just fill chat <laughs> every time it gets used. All right. Put it on select. And we ride! Yay! Uh, so much better. Goldenrod City Station. Ooh. They built the new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram! Welcome. Hi, are you here for the lucky number show? Want me to check the ID numbers of your Pokemon? If you get lucky, you win a prize. This week's ID number is 55038. Let's see if you have a match. That'd be pretty astounding at this point. Nope, none of your ID numbers match. We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide it into your Poke Gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to take the quiz? Sure. Question one. Is there a Pokemon that appears only in the morning? Yes. Correct. Question two. Is this statement correct? <laughs> oh, I was going to say, is that the statement? You can't buy a berry at a mart. Pretty sure. Yep. Bullseye. Question three. Does HMO1 contain the move Flash? I think so. No. Oh dear. Sorry, but you got it wrong. Please try again. I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. I only know what she sounds like, though. Ben is a fabulous DJ. His sweet voice makes me melt. Was HM1 cut? I thought that was HM2 for some reason. Not that I'm ultra familiar with them. Guess we can consult our list. But yep. Yeah. One is cut. Five is flash. Two is fly. Oh, I see. Here, we'll give it one more go. 
Not like I'm dying for a radio card. Let's try again. Is there a Pokemon that appears only at or in the morning? Yes. You can't buy a berry at a mart. Does H1 contain Flash? No. So far, so good. Question four is Faulkner, the Violet Gym Leader, who uses a bird Pokemon. Yes. Here's the final question. Do Goldenrod Gate Corner slots have Charmander on their reels? Didn't really check. No, they don't. All right, one more go. Let's see. Yes. Yes. No. And uh, yes. And the Golden Rock Game Corner slots have a Charmander on their reels. No. I feel like a true false quiz that you can take as many times as you like is really just a very convoluted way to give everyone a free radio card. Yeah, with like extra steps and kind of time wasted, but. <laughs> we have a radio card now, so that's fun. You can now double as a radio. Please tune in to our radio shows, where we'll only use two sentences. Tuning. Pokedex show. Gas leak. Gas. It wraps its opponent in its gas-like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning it through the skin. Neat. Okay, so you can tune in, and is it basically just showing you, you can listen to music from different places, but also it'll just, like, give you some random trivia and facts from different things. That's really cute. Different shows on different days. Not a lot of stations. But maybe that'll change. And, like, different shows, different days, I guess that also makes sense. That's very cute. Cute idea. What's up here? Lullabies on the radio may make Pokemon sleep. Hello, Jigglypuff. Hi, I'm Buena. Do you know about a radio program called Password? If you can tell me the password from the program, you'll earn points. Save up those points and trade them to that sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. Here you go. It's your very own point card. Neat. Tune into my password show. You can cash in your saved points for a lovely prize of your choice. Which prize would you like? I don't have any points, so... Unless you have one that's free. You can listen to the radio anywhere. Tune in. Sorry, authorized personnel only. Beyond this point. It wasn't that way before. There's something wrong with the director. Hmm. Suspicious. Anyway. Where was that underground entrance?
There's the bike shop. Excuse me. Maybe this is it. Nope, that's a game corner. Oh, it's further over this way, I think. This. Yes. There are some shops downstairs, but there are also trainers. I'm scared to go down there. Who should I put up front right now? Let's keep working on Zubat. Zubat and Whooper are kind of the ones that need to pick up speed a little bit, leveling. Everything down there is poison. Uh, I guess we could go to Geodude just to like make sure Geodude's at a level that will guaranteed solve Gym 3. But we can also switch to Geodude after getting Zubat levels, so that works. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. Bring it. <laughs> I love Grimer's look. Have some magnitude. Good. Yeah. Not like we're getting tons of experience from level 11 Grimers at this point, but still. As someone whose only Pokemon gaming experience was Arceus on the Switch, I've been wondering if it's worth trying out one of the 9 billion or so emulators. I mean, technically I played Silver on the GBA, but I don't remember it at all. But I think so. If you're lo craving some more Pokemon, you've got a wide range to choose from. And honestly, like, if you're craving some more Pokemon, you don't even need to go to, like, emulating old ones. There's lots of newer ones that are, like... Especially given that Arceus is the one you've played and that's kind of an outlier mechanics-wise. Might be worth trying one of the newer mainline ones to see if the, you'd enjoy those as much. Especially since newer ones have more quality of life stuff going on. My Pokémon just got a haircut! Not really sure what that barber cut on this lick -it tongue but, um... You know, Zubat, you can probably manage this. Bite it. Try... Supersonic. Confuse it. Stop cutting the bat. It's a sturdy lick -a tongue Hey, 
Hey. Did I say you could stop being confused? No. Don't really know if you'll get easily confused again. I don't know, is this a thing thing in earlier Pokemon games to let you like build up resistance to certain statuses after being hit with it more than once? No? Interesting. It's like that seems like a thing that a lot of RPGs do with these systems, so it's what I kind of expect to happen, but. not even a thing in the newer games. Good to know. There we go. Good. There's our coin case. Let's go into the pack and shuffle some things around. Uh, and also give this berry to... Yeah, why not? The bat. There we go. Welcome! I run the Pokemon Salon. I'm the older and better of the two haircut brothers. <laughs> I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just 500. Would you like me to do so? Yes, please. Which Pokemon should I work on? The bat. Okay. Watch it become beautiful. There, all done. Zubat looks happy. Do you consider uh, type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. What you got? All right, and you are electric steel now. Can't remember if steel's weak to dark. Should probably check the chart. Steel is not weak to dark. Steel's weak to uh, ground and fighting and fire. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Ground, fighting, and fire. We have some of those things. Be on fire. I do feel a little bad, it was just a little level seven. Voltorb, eh? All right, go ahead, Geodude. Catch rocks. and then just get tackled. Very close. 
Eh, we'll stick with it. Does Woofer have the electric defense of ground or weakness of water? I'm guessing both. I'm guessing it kind of balances out to neutral. No, wait, magnitude's not going to work on you, is it? No, well, I guess so. I worry that Magnemite might, like, might, like, count as floating and be immune to certain ground effects. Oh, Whooper is immune. Oh, immunity beats weakness. I see, so Whooper is immune. Good to know. Well, that makes Whooper pretty great. Like, a water type that's immune to one of the two things that... water would normally have a problem with. Let's test this theory. Not that I have... Well, I got Mud Slap. Just watch out for grass. Very weak to grass. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, someone asked... Uh, Toaster did. What combo randomizer? To tell us more, Dan, considering the announcement video came out before the stream start. Yes, tomorrow we'll be doing another stream. Uh, Dan and I are going to do uh, sort of a multi-world combo randomizer. Which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm re very, very much looking forward to it. Dan will be playing Ocarina of Time. I will be playing Hollow Knight. Items will be scattered across both our games. It's going to be very fun. That'll be at noon Pacific tomorrow, if anyone wants to join for that. I'm looking forward to it. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Slowpoke. Come on, Bat, you can do it. I do hope they made new sprites and models for the items like they did with Metroid Link to the Past randomizer. Uh, no, so this is, this functions, this randomizer setup functions quite differently from that uh, Link to the Past Super Metroid thing. The, the Link to the Past Super Metroid combo is a very unusual, uh, like, case where it's like, it's a SNES ROM that literally contains both games together. Uh, this, like, for this we'll be using a site called Archipelago, which basically, like, has a list of several dozen games it supports, and you can kind of choose which of ever games you want to, like, each player wants to play. You can have a lot of people involved in it, too. And it just sort of, like, shuffles all the items around all the things. So I don't think it, like, replaces any art assets in the game itself. It sort of works independently of the game. Kind of as an external thing. Uh, so Dan and I will both be streaming. We'll be each streaming our own game uh, play, basically. It, it also won't, won't work like the combo randomizer in that the combo randomizer as one game is one where, like, you're I theoretically meant to play that just yourself as a one person, but Dan and I opted to switch off with me playing Metroid side and Dan playing Zelda side. Uh, for this, we'll be playing both of them at the same time, simultaneously, so you can watch either one of our streams, whichever game you want to see, or you can use Twitch's sort of, like, multi-stream viewing function, which I don't understand a lot of, but you can also do that to sort of see both streams simultaneously. It's going to be fun. Definitely recommend trying out Archipelago Randomizer. Well, I recommend trying out Randomizers generally first, because uh, they're very fun. But if you want to mix it up even further, investigating Archipelago and, and uh, trying to set up multi-world stuff with other players is quite fun. It's a little fiddly and more complicated to set up, or, or at least to figure out initially. But it is very neat. Yeah, if you're wanting more specifics, uh, yeah, we do. There is a video that just went up on Playframe this morning, giving a few more details. Not tons, but the basics. 
Can you show the video link? Certainly, let me... I wish it was easy to just, like, really... It probably is really easy to quickly copy-paste somebody's username. Like, uh, for Twitch chat command purposes. Jaws got it already? Great. Thank you, Jaws. <laughs> oh, oh, and uh, to do permit, just do... It's just an exclamation mark permit space and then the username, and that'll do it. That'll basically permit that user to... Post links in chat for three minutes. Bite. There we go. What else we got down here? No entry beyond this point. Dang. You can also start typing a username and hit tab to autofill, provided that user's in chat. Oh, that's nice. That helps a lot. I was challenged to a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. Better be careful. Name Rater. Get your Pokemon nicknames rated. Hello, I'm the Name Rater. I rate the names of Pokemon. Would you like me to rate names? I'm good, thank you. Given I've not been nicknaming anything, <laughs> the man at that house rates your Pokemon names. You can even rename your Pokemon. Here's the gym. Blooming beautiful flower shop. Have you seen that wiggly tree that's growing on Route 36? My little sister got all excited and went to see it. I'm worried. I, isn't it dangerous? Soon we will be able to go capture that thing. Once while I was battling, my Pokemon couldn't make any moves. The power points or PP of its moves were all gone. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon may be unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal it at a Pokemon Center. Or use an item. Yeah, I know. Well, we've not done a whole ton so far, other than exploring, going into the underground, getting our Zubat a haircut, getting a bike. But it's about gym time. Oh, also the radio card, that's true. Oop. What's up, Ralph? Hi, it's Uncle Ralph. What do you say to a battle with me? Good. You're gonna do it. For a kid, you're quite agreeable. <laughs> Route 32 is the spot. You call your mom sometimes, too. Thank you. The king said something earlier, did they? No, I suppose they did. Let's see. You know, Prince, I we had a haircut too. Yesterday, in fact. And not once have you commented on it. Queen didn't either, come to think of it. We understand we're constantly blinding radiance, but shortly someone noticed that there was a change in its hue. Hmm. Waste of 500 poke dollars. <laughs> the king does also have... I don't really know if it's headwear, but... The hair doesn't really show much on the king. But okay. It is time to get our third gym badge. Yo, champ in the making. This gym's home to normal-type Pokémon trainers. I recommend you use fighting-type Pokémon. Don't got one, but thank you.
Let's see. We'll for you go up front for a bit. Give it your best shot, or I'll take you down. Is it Whitney o'clock? Getting there. Good Meowth Sprite. Very cute Meowth. Catch rocks. Dang it. I says catch rocks. Or magnitude, I don't care which. Fine, be that way. We'll have a sort this out. Thank you. Very good. About to use Meowth again, you say? All right. Lava, you back. Do not let the money cat boss you around. Thanks for those hydrate and stretch reminders. Now's a great time to take advantage of them. Before really getting ourselves into the thick of this gym. Might actually stand and stretch too, why not? Do it proper. is quite nice. That helps a lot. Okay. Let's go wake up the rock real quick. Just lulling the mill tank into a false sense of security. Roll out! Hello. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. The new beauty sprite is also quite good. And Centret is always good.
Perhaps not to the extent that they're going to win this encounter, but, you know. Almost. Ha! You missed. Good job, Whooper. We need to get some more levels on you. It does feel a little bit like Gen 2 balance, like, difficulty curve. Could have used a little more fine-tuning. Like, generally, everything about this gen has been stronger than Gen 1 across the board. But it does seem to have a lot more, like, weird variation in level and difficulty of your opponents. Seems like it could have used, especially for a, like, game targeting, like, a kid audience primarily. It does seem like it could have used, like, one more design polish pass. On the difficulty curve. Two and four both have this problem. Like, it's not like it's an easy thing to do. Like, it's... It's work. But, uh, it does feel like this, that, like, it's a little bit looser and less, uh, <laughs> refined on that front than, uh, Gen 1 was. Even though it is much more refined in so many other ways. Well, that's a much higher level Sintret. Good hit. There we go. Gen 2 is notorious for one of the weakest level curves, barring the spike with Whitney. Very few trainers pose a threat and are often uh, extremely underleveled compared to the player. Yeah, it's, it seems to vary pretty wildly. And there, and there being a whole lot of trainers that are way lower level also means that that's less experience your team is getting for winning, so as soon as you do get to one where it is a bigger challenge, you're not as strong as you could be. Like, I can definitely see why Whitney has this reputation of sort of being the... Uh, kind of like the early game exam to see how you're doing. But I think, like, that's... That's a charitable read on... Uh... What is... I sense in reality just a... Like... Pretty unnecessary... Like... It seems like a kind of weird place to just suddenly have, oh, here's a very steep difficulty spike for kind of arbitrary reason. It just sort of seems like a slightly a, a boss fight that could have a gym challenge that could have used a little more tuning <laughs> I enjoy it I enjoy the unpredictability given these games are generally fairly easy and just as an adult player like I'm down for like alright alright the game wants to actually push and challenge me now this will be this will be fun but uh it definitely feels like the mill tank is a, li is a little excessive <laughs> and just further evidence of the game's difficulty needing and not one more polish pass.
Get out of here, Schnubble. We're getting in there. All right, one more regular trainer. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. This trainer has their priorities in order. Cute. Let's see now. Eh, go ahead, Kualava. Be on fire. Fine, be tackled. Whatever. Stop it. Your defense is already excessive and also not going to help. More experience for Whooper. And yeah, we'll keep this going, why not? Hey Dan, I've been watching your content since extra play and your first Dark Souls playthrough. Thank you for all the fun. And also a big thank you to Carrie. Also, the first time catching your stream due to different time zones. Well, welcome. Thanks for watching for so long. I'm glad you've been <laughs> enjoying so much of what we've done. I'm glad you could make it. Schnooze. Wag up. Gotta wake up and tackle the little singing orb. Come on. Is Ember still disabled? Yeah. Don't you dare. There we go. And another Jigglypuff, sure. Here, Whooper, I'll give you one shot at it. actually be able to win this sort of one. It'll probably make you go to sleep, but uh I don't know, you might be able to eke out a win.
Especially against... Especially since it can't defend against... Water Gun. All right, fine. I still got other moves. Ha! You're doomed! Yes! Whooper! Beautiful. All right, let's go get everyone in tip-top shape for the rematch. Now, given happiness is a factor that we're having to take into account, I will not probably just let Miltank faint the whole team just for kicks. Zubat, particularly. We already know Miltank is difficult. But we can definitely throw one or two at Miltank first before... Letting Geodude go in. Now. Time for cow. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon sure are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. First a Clefairy, who is themselves not a slouch. Fine. Be that way. Get confused, then. Boo. Ha! Little do you know, I brought snacks. Fine, don't be confused. Yeah, we better swap. Be on fire. Quit. Fine, have it your way.
Here comes the cow. Go ahead, Whooper. There it is. It is very cute. There goes Rollout. Not very effective, though. Get him, Whooper. And you missed. Ha ha ha. The mighty whooper did its best. Let's see. There's the attract. Alas. A stomp. Come on. Yeah, please drop that defense. So we don't have to deal with... Constant self-healing. Or hopefully we can outpace it. Yeah. Hey, thanks for subscribing, 643. Alright, well hopefully we've put a dent in some stats a little bit. Uh... Feeding Centret to it just seems mean. Go ahead, Geodude. Magnitude. It's not like she's actually that hard. There's a couple of Pokemon that just shut Miltank down, but they're not the most popular ones, so most people have trouble with the gym. I think, but I, I would argue that does actually make the fight quite hard, and also not in a very fun way. If, like, if the secret to the boss is just that two or three Pokemon are the right answer and shut the that uh, boss fight down, and that all the other Pokemon that you might have chosen are wrong, then that's, I think, a that's a uh, challenge design failure. <laughs> but yeah, Geodude does kind of shut that down, huh? <laughs> Especially with a good magnitude roll. <laughs> You're mean. You shouldn't be so serious. You, you child, you. <laughs> She's got me there. I am young. Ah, ah, snivel, Nick, you meanie. Ah. Well, inconsolable. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. What? What do you want? A badge? Oh, right, I forgot. Here's plain badge. Plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon's speed. Oh, you can have this too. Yay. It's a tract. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? It does thematically fit. We've done it! Thank you for the 17 months! Account made for ants. Very much appreciated. And now it's all new things, you're right! From here on... I know nothing about what to expect from Gen 2. I'm excited to see what else this game contains.
For better or worse, Gem 3 is the first time Gem Leaders really felt like characters to me. I am curious, yeah, I'm excited to see how... Kind of like the portrayal of gems and gem leaders uh, shifts and changes over time as different gems come up. Like, it's pretty hard for... The way that these games usually work structure-wise, gem leaders have a very, very small window to make an impression. Like, you build up to them, you face them once, and then you may never see them again. <laughs> so, like... Even in Sword, like, they had... Sometimes the gym leader would come out and let you have an encounter with them outside the gym or something in their area just to give you a first sense of who they are before going in. And then eventually you'll get up, you'll fight them, and then maybe they'll have a scene afterward. That's still not very much time to actually be a char be more than just, like, a cardboard cutout of a character. It's pretty rough. So, like... <laughs> it'll be, uh... Or at least it's pretty challenging to make a... For those characters to make, like, a big impression. Or have much to them. But, no, I'm, I'm curious to see. I'm going to start some tea going real fast. I think that that's going to help for a lengthier stream like this. Let's do a short little music break. Everyone get yourself a snack or go to the bathroom or whatever you need. And we'll I'll run a little ad. And in a few minutes, we will continue. BRB, everyone. Okay, I am back. I have tea. And what's more, I have added that suggested uh, little command. Let's see if it works. There we go. Poke games. That will make it a little easier for quick explanations. I'd added another one too, what was it? Oh yeah, we also have gems, which reminds folks to refrain from discussion of upcoming gems, we're keeping them surprised. I should probably set that up to be a like, every half hour auto reminder. I'll do that later. But good, we got some auto responses now, that helps. Just doing crystal for this gen? Yeah, that'll be the only one we're playing all the way through for this particular gen. looking forward to it. Anyway, let's get back in because we've received a call from Anthony. Yo, Daddy? This is Anthony, the hiker. Come on, let's battle right now. Route 33 is where I am. Come on down if you feel up to it. Alright then, be good. Were there any Pokemon spinoffs pre-Game Boy Advance? Oh yeah, no, there were quite a few. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, or Pocket Monster Stadium, the original Japanese uh, release of Pokemon Stadium. Uh, and then also, uh, Hey You Pikachu, uh, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, Pokemon Pinball. Uh, there's one other one, Pokemon Snap. There were quite a few spinoffs that happened before the GBA era. <laughs> it's like, mate, we get it. You hike, don't make it your only thing. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed when anyone in this world has literally anything going on in their lives that is not entirely Pokemon-based. <laughs> it's all anyone in this world cares about. There was also, that's right, there was also the TCG game uh, on the Game Boy, which we didn't play because it's got no relevant animation <laughs> to look at. All right. Oh, we can't deposit Geodude yet because Geodude has an item we need to remove. But Geodude, you've served us well. Thank you for getting us through Gem 3. Time has come to make space. For other Pokémon. On the crew. Let's see. No, 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 
No. No. Nope. Hop hip. Again, once we've got the EXP share, I might... It's tempting. We could go ahead and do it. Like, we can... Oddish is much more equipped to actually fight right now. All right, we'll go with Oddish for now, especially since Oddish has the item and we need to get that item off of Oddish if we're not, not going to keep using them anyway. But it might be smart to... No, no, let's get Hop-Hip in here. If we do end up getting the Sunstone, great. Oddish can come back out and maybe we'll do a switch if we feel like we need to. But, like, if we're not... In case we're not going to get a Sunstone, let's go ahead and just start putting in the work on Hop-Hip now. Really go all in on this new Gen 2 Pokemon only self-limitation. Let's commit. I thank you for the 15 months. Day as in day. <laughs> Almost a year. Perpetually. Trying to think if we've, like, we've got Hoot Hoot, but uh, Crobat will fill that gap. Spinarak is also a potential option, but uh, let's go with Hoppip for now, because we're also going to keep on encountering other new Pokemon, and who knows? All right, let's get that weak little grass sprout right up front. I can give a personal recommendation for someone who pulled out Crystal recently. Try to avoid giving EXP to Pokemon you aren't going to use in your final team. Experience is really hard to get in Gen 2. I was like eight levels under the Elite Four when I got there. Yeah, we will have to watch out for that given this game's kind of weirdness. How was the cow fight? Went pretty nice and smooth this time. We let it faint a couple of our uh, other crew members just to do proper justice to how strong that <laughs> mill tank really is. Although it also did kind of help. Whooper got in some mud slaps to lower its accuracy. Quilava got in some uh, leers to lower its defense. And then by the time it was Geodude's turn, Geodude just cleaned house pretty immediately. <laughs> Went very good. I gotta turn this fan off. It was helpful earlier when it was kind of warmer in here, but it's starting to cool off. <laughs> and now I'm getting cold. Better. Okay. Now we got a bike. Life is good. Let's get out of this town. What time is it in game now? Okay, it's almost ticking over from morning to day. Strange trees blocking the road. It wriggles around if you talk to it. I heard it become, became wild when someone watered it with a squirt bottle. What? I wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. Three years ago, Professor Oak said that there were 150 different kinds. Excuse me, kid. Can you do a guy a favor? Can you take this Pokemon with mail to my friend? He's on Route 31. Sure. You will? 
Perfect, thanks, kid. My pal's a chubby guy who snoozes all the time. You'll recognize him right away. You can't carry another Pokemon. Oh. Do I need... Oh, oh, do I need to... Okay. I suppose I need to, uh... Make space. For whatever that is. Sit tight, Hoppip. So what's going on here? A Pokemon with mail. You can read it, but don't lose it. Route 31. Oh yeah, there was a weird tree block in the road. I wonder if it's been cleared. I'll look into it. What have you given me? It's Kenya, a... Spiro. Okay. Will you be wanting Kenya back? You can just keep Kenya the Sparrow. Move the mail to another Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not really needing an extra nicknamed Spiro. <laughs> but thank you. I don't know, should we go back to Route 31 and deliver the mail now? Maybe we should. How far back would 31 have been? I guess it would have been a little ways. Given we're on 34 here, we probably have to go through a cave and all that. Hello, Jigglypuff. We haven't caught one of you yet. No, we haven't. I have thought we had for some reason. I think we saw one of you and then accidentally fainted you. Route 31. Oh, okay, yeah, 31's pretty far back. Probably good, then, to, uh... Proceed forward. For now. Deliver that mail when it's more convenient. Wake up. A slam. Okay, good, good. One more water gun. And I think we got this in the bag. Or the ball, as it were. In the ball with you. Yes. Balloon. It rolls its cute eyes as it sings, a soothing lullaby. Its gentle song puts anyone who hears it to sleep. All right, yeah, let's just proceed forward. I suppose there's any reason why we can't just leave Kenya in storage until we're ready for delivery. Remove the ma- oh. 
Gotta remove the mail first, I guess. Okay. Then deposit bird. Something worth getting going to Bill's house, you say? No, oh, we can stop by. Not quite yet? Okay, maybe later then. Third time's a charm! Leaving town! Route 35, let's go! Are you going to the gym? Me too! I'm going to the next gym. If that's what you mean. What a good little Vulpix. Go on, Whooper. This one's all you. You might still need a heal, little buddy. Continue soaking the fox. Couldn't win. Ah! Moms. Hi, Danny. How are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. You'll like it. I'll check it next time. Thank you. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. <laughs> Sand true. Very cute. Kolava, I don't think you should be out front. You've you're doing good on the levels. I just popped in after finding out you streamed. I would like you to know that as soon as you finished Final Fantasy VII, I went and watched the entire remake playlist. I'm in the Yuffie section, and I'll finally be able to watch Rebirth soon. Have a great day. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying. You have a great day as well. And if you're enjoying all this so far, then I think you're going to have a very good time with Rebirth. Is this a treat? Hang in there, Whooper. Good. A Merrill, eh? Hmm. Not good sounds. I know you don't have any moves, Hoppip, but let's get you in here. Look at it.
I do love it. Given the blueness, I'm guessing this one does watery things. It might not, but yeah, okay. Confuse the little balloon. And then bite it. Sturdy little thing. Confuse it. Swift? Eh. Come on. Good. Well done, Zubit. Hey, two levels for Hoppip. And I learned to move, sort of. Two moves! I wish you would have lost for me. <laughs> Sorry. This has not helped you to look like hot stuff in front of your girlfriend. I don't know if I can actually check moves in here, but... No, not really. I don't know what synthesis is, but I feel like it's not an attack. It's like a self-heal or like a self-stat boost? Okay, it is a heal move. All right. I do like a good heal move, but maybe after I've also got an attack move. Which I do not. Could probably teach it one. I bet I could learn headbutt. Oh! Grizzhoot! Welcome! And hello! I hope you are having a fine day. Thanks for joining. I'm tempted to go to buy another, uh... copy of Headbutt here. Got some more work done on my weird Connect project. <laughs> Oh, nice. Hope that's coming along well. Just wanted to let you know I'm so pumped for Shadowbringers. I've heard great things and can't wait to get further in the story. I'm pumped for Shadowbringers, too. I'm glad you're also excited. It... That was the expansion that convinced me to try... making this... ridiculously long Final Fantasy XIV story playthrough thing. Which has been fun to do. It's been a... One of the biggest, like, most ambitious, time-consuming playthroughs I've ever done on the channel. But it's been a lot of fun, and Shadowbringers was the reason I started it. Because as soon as I got to that point in the story, I was like, I this is so good, I need more people to see and recognize how good this is. So I'm, I'm very happy to finally be at this point. See you later! Alright. We did heal up, right? I didn't forget to do that part. I didn't. Good. But I should move Quilava off the front row. Hmm. Oops, not what I meant to do. Is 
Say, there we go. Speaking of 14, will I be catching the live letter tonight? I, I don't ever really uh, keep up with the uh, live letters or a lot of the... Uh, like, I, I will watch the the keynote for, like, the big uh, fan fests and such, since that's where, like, a lot of new reveals happen, but otherwise I don't have time to really keep up with a lot of the rest. <laughs> My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. <laughs> Does, does that dialogue always that way? Probably so. I was wondering if me just beating her boyfriend in a fight has influenced the dialogue. It's very good. Pikachu, hello. It's been a bit. Um, Go ahead, Kulava. Fire! There we go. Oh my, you're so strong. I try. I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. <laughs> we'll see. Ah, a singular chat. <laughs> um... Go ahead, Whooper. Hey, thanks for the 19 months, Spiller. Time does still exist, for better or worse. Grow strong, Whooper. Soak in that experience. Become Big Whoop. Hey, thanks for the 19 months. For you as well, Morgan Ryder. Happy to be here almost two years. It's pretty wild that it is like well over a year and a half on our way toward two years at this point. Streaming things. And I still feel very much like an amateur on this site. <laughs> I am very much a part-timer. I guess that's what'll happen. Honestly, small Twitch with readable chat is nice. I guess that is kind of a nice benefit of, like, not having too huge an audience here. Chat not moving at the speed of light. <laughs> so folks can actually have conversations. It has its perks. Get him, Whopper, you're doing it. Still a little confused, though.
Dan, I just wanted to say thank you and screw you for playing Sanabi recently. Got me to pick up the game and I was not ready for that ending. Super fun game, though. Yeah, no, that's a very, like... I'm very impressed with that game. More people should definitely watch the Sanabi playthrough if they haven't, because that's might still be one of my favorite games from 2000, uh, from 2023. In a year with extremely tough competition. <laughs> Too bad you take a try at this. That did not do much. Swift instead. Better. There we go. Another win. Though we are taking a little more of a beat. Well, no. Just Whooper. The rest of us are kind of okay. Can take one more. I'm practicing my fire breathing. I see. A Magmar. Now oh, go ahead, Whooper. You're a little banged up, but should still work. Smog, huh? Get soaked. Hopefully it doesn't do much. Eh, a little more than I'd like. Perhaps another potion. Should probably buy a few more of those. Almost. Get him, Whooper. Stop hitting me with fire moves that are still doing a lot of damage, actually. I prefer it when you don't. All right, fine. Ah, uh, you know what? Quilava, you can finish it. You need levels too. Bonk. Yes. Yes. 
Quilava's trying to learn Quick Attack. I'll take that. We should replace Tackle, yeah? Or does Quick Attack do less damage than Tackle? In either case, it still may be worth doing. Because, like, Leer and Smokescreen aren't the most exciting, but they still have utility, at least. Quick Attack is, uh, same damage, better accuracy, and faster. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely Quick Attack. And, yeah. There we go. Good. Don't sneak up. Behold my graceful, bold dexterity! <laughs> There's not many people out in the world for whom the very first sentence you hear from them will start with Behold. It's a level 2 Voltorb. You're going to make it explode, aren't you? I feel like you're going to make it explode. What if I'm too fast for you? Try juggling now, sucker. Since right if they're all going to be this low level, you actually have a pretty good shot. Bonk it. Yes. Good. Hey, quick attack. Forget tackle. Stay out here, though. I suspect the level increase is gonna keep on going up, and... Yeah, but manageable. For now. Dang. Way to go, Sintret. Really showing him. Do not take this one's number, he's a creep. Got it. Whew, Centret. Yeah, thanks for the 19 months, Arta Matthew. Woohoo, indeed. Centret, I don't think a quick attack is going to win this out, but I want to give you the chance to try. Hey, with the crit. Clutch, Centret. You earned that one. Another L for the Behold crew. <laughs> Where are we? Route 35, right. Your Pokemon look pretty tough. You could go anywhere safely. Thank you. Today's Thursday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Uh-oh. You have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Zubat, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? No, let me um figure out what we're doing here. Let's see, who would we want to bring in? Heal, then save. Yeah, let's... Let's ride back to town real fast. It's actually not that far. Heal up. Come back. Get ourselves all super prepared for this one. There's also some grass over here. We could try... 
catching some stuff over here. Maybe let's do that real quick. Bird. Not what I was looking for. Though the wild Pokemon out here being nearly caught up to the level of my average team member maybe suggests that I'm falling behind the curve a bit here. But yeah, more experience from it, at least that. New Schnubble. You are definitely going in the collection. I still got a few regular Pokeballs. Let's make use of those. Perfect. A fairy type. Sort of. I mean, not really. Those don't exist yet, but... You know, in truth, it is a cowardly Pokemon. It growls eagerly in order to hide its fear from its opponent. Nice. Oh, Bill. Hi, Daddy. It's me, Bill. Thanks for using my storage system. That last Pokemon you sent filled your box up. You'll have to switch boxes if you want to catch more Pokemon. Bye now. That's great to know. Another good reason to run back to the Poké Center. Oh, does the uh, box storage stuff stop being an issue in Gen 3? Because thank goodness if so. Yeah, at l like... I don't love having to go back and manually switch, but sure beats Gen 1 where they don't even give you a warning. Gen 3 is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to seeing the changes, and also just the visual upgrade going to a Game Boy Advance is going to be big. Change box to number two. All right. Okay. So... Given, I don't, I don't know what the. You know, maybe I should just Google it. That'll be easier. <laughs> uh, I want to see what like the rules and how the bug contest works. So. There is no entry fee for the bug catching contest. Anyone may enter once per day on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. To compete, trainers must catch the single best bug-type Pokémon they can find. To do this, trainers are given 20 sport balls, uh, and they are only allowed to use a single Pokémon for their party. The rest of a trainer's Pokémon remain with the contest officials until the competition's over. The player cannot save the game in the middle of the contest, nor can they use any items from the bag except for the limited purpose of giving their chosen Pokémon a held item. 
Any Pokemon caught will be recorded in the Pokedex, but only one can be kept and judged. The Pokemon that is judged may be kept after the competition. The competition ends when all the sport balls are used, the trainer blacks out, the trainer leaves the park, the trainer chooses to quit, uh, or 20 minutes have passed. After that, judging will occur, in which trainers are scored on their skills of capturing rare and powerful Pokemon. In Gen 2, judging takes place inside the gate, while in Gen 4, judging takes place in front of the fountain in the middle of the National Park. That doesn't really matter so much. And I'm guessing, like, best bug comes down to just rarity? Like, just specific bug Pokemon are judged more highly than others, yeah? Is that how it works? Rarity and level, maybe? <laughs> You'd think so? <laughs> Rarity plus levels plus DVs. Interesting. Combo of level, total HP versus current and species. Wow. So, in that case, I, I was going to say, like, if we're trying to catch wild ones, maybe it's good to go with something that's, like, middling level, like Centret or Zubat or Whooper or something that's going to be a little easier to deal with. Would it be smarter to bring Qualava so that we can be ready to, uh, catch something tougher? I don't know, like, what kind of level range we're looking at here. Highest level in the park is, like, 18. Maybe we should bring Qualava then. Because we still got quick attacks. We can soften them up. Yeah, all right, Quilava, you're you're in. Best odds of winning catching a Scyther or a Pinsir? Mainly Scyther. <laughs> all right. Now, winning this would be great, and I'm down to like we'll do a save plus save state and try like uh, I'm willing to do a couple attempts. Hi, right, Danny. Our bicycle sales have gone through the roof. We owe it all to your advertising by riding around on a bicycle. As our way of saying thanks, please keep that bicycle. <laughs> thanks again. I was going to. Now it's theft with permission. You also do not want to soften up the Pokemon before you catch them, I see. So, are we just finding bugs and throwing Pokeballs instantly, or are we trying to do, like, a little... Like, soften them up a little bit, but not too much? Sleep or paralysis. Ah! Stat debuffs may be smarter. Hmm... I don't know if we really have anybody who's going to be great for... I don't think we have anybody who can do, like, sleep or paralysis moves. Oddish might? Let's check. Also, if you see a blue NPC named Nick, you're very likely to lose. <laughs> Good to know. All right, hop hip, sit tight. All oh, right, gotta change boxes again. I guess we do have the Jigglypuff, and the Jigglypuff is like level... Oh, wait, what level is the Jigglypuff? Twelve? Eh, a little low, but could make a thing fall asleep. And if that's all we're really trying to do here, then maybe that's still good. Paris level six. Ugh. Oddish has Absorb, Sweet Scent, and Poison Powder, so no, okay, Oddish does not have a sleep move.
I feel like, yeah, I feel like Jigglypuff might be our best bet right now. If all that matters is being able to make a thing sleep. Alright. Puff, let's see how this goes. Prepare your best lullabies. Yeah, we did a little save. We'll do a little hydrate as well, as we were reminded. Good thought. One more save, just for luck. And also a save state, just to... ...double up on it. Okay. Let's do this. I'm willing to give this, like, two or three tries, maybe, but if we, did, if we don't win it, we don't win it. That's fine. Not spending the rest of the stream... ...just trying to get a sunstone for one of our grass-type options. You have more than one put Right, we do need to switch boxes again. Dog on it. Meh. Bill, I have some constructive criticism for your system. Dan, read this aloud in frog detective voice. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, top percentile of Rattata, you say? Well, I'm not sure how verifiable that is. <laughs> That's a fun voice to do. What if I just did a silly voice for an entire stream? What a time that would be. It'd probably be fun for everyone for a while. I feel like that might wear... wear thin... eventually. I'd need a lot of tea. It would depend on the voice. Some are very easy to do. Like, Frog Detective is very easy to do. It's very chill. Some would be much... much harder. Okay, once more saving. Oof, yeah, Zote would definitely be much more of a strain. <laughs> Silly voice channel point redeem voice for X minutes. <laughs> that could be a fun one. I'll, I'll have to think about that as a possibility. Probably be for a lot of points, though. I don't need that getting redeemed frequently. <laughs> okay. We're going in. To make bugs take naps. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokémon while you compete. Here are the park balls for the contest. The person who gets the strongest bug Pokémon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of park balls, you're done. You can keep the last Pokémon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest bug Pokémon you can find. Let's go! What a jaunty tune. Real catchy. Hello, Weedle. Level 15? Not bad, we'll like... Give this a trial run. No.
Well, here, just as a, um... Little te- hey! Sing at it! There you go! I'm getting the ball. Hey! Stay in the ball. Good. Oh, well, it's a start. Nope. Don't need you. Bugs! Non Weedle Bugs! Oh, this is different looking grass. Hmm. Seems like a lateral move. You should weaken bug Pokemon first, then throw a ball. Thanks, Barry. Nope. We got a level 15 bug. We're good on high level basic bug. Shh, you'll scare off Scyther. I'll talk to you later. Sorry. By the way, are Tuesday streams no longer happening? They will sometimes, uh, but I've been opting to commit that day to... Oh, well, it's a 17. That's a little better. Uh, I will sometimes be doing Tuesday streams still. It's just uh, a case where sometimes I decide to commit that time to New Frame Plus work instead. So I'm kind of playing it by ear. Depends on what seems like the better use of the day, week to week. Come on. Bug. Stay in the ball. You are higher level than the other bug. I don't even want a Weedle. You're just my best option so far. Are Wednesday one-offs on break? They kind of are, yeah. I've been enjoying... Uh... Yes, Switch. I've been enjoying... Like, uh... Spending all my time on 7 Rebirth for <laughs> Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth lately. So, ooh. Higher evolution. Lower level, though. I feel like that's... I feel like I'm good with my Weedle. But yeah, Wednesday one-offs will come back eventually, but I, for various reasons, decided to kind of put them on pause for a little while and go back to just doing five a week of whatever game we were in. And get through them a little faster. I don't always have a game in mind for that I want to show off in the Wednesday slot. It's sometimes tricky figuring out what game that I'm actually, like, interested enough in to want to, like, play and show off, but not interested enough that I want to do a actual full playthrough of it. <laughs> it's kind of a narrow band sweet spot.
Because anytime I've played a one-off game that I decide to come back to later, it's always this awkward thing of like, okay, we did one episode of this months ago, and now we're gonna keep it going. <laughs> hey, this seems like one to go for. Cool trainer Nick's not here, we got a chance. <laughs> come on, sing at it. Jigglypuff, stop having stage fright. Sing my angel of music. Jigglypuff, come on. There you go. Now get in the ball. There you go. A second evolution Pokemon at level 18, 19, whatever that was at. Yeah, no, that's that seems pretty good. No Weedles for me, thanks. Couldn't eat another bite. I'm not concerned about winning. I'm just looking for rare Pokemon. I'll probably die if something cool shows up. Yeah, no, we're pretty low on health. With this Jigglypuff. So if we run into something actually rare and high level, I'm very... Doubtful we'll manage to successfully. Hey, well. It's level 13, though. So there's the question. Is a level 13 Scyther better than a level 18 Kakuna? It is? Yes? All right. Let's see if we manage. Seeing at Bug. Puff, you sing at that bug right now. Ah, oh, well, you tried. Scyther's best chance to win by a long mile. All right, well, good to know for next time. We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third was Pokefan William, who caught a Butterfree. Dang. The score was 331 points. Placing second was Picnicker Cindy, who caught a Butterfree. The score was 342 points. This bug catching contest winner is Camper Barry, who caught a Pincer. Goodness, we got stopped. If Nick is there, you sometimes just lose even with a Scyther. Wow, <laughs> brutal. All right, all right, all right. Let's try this again. All right, let's see. And if these punks are going to go that hard catching <laughs> Butterfreeze and Pinsters and whatnot, I guess we can also know that it's best to save our time, don't bother going for these high-level basics. Oh, give Jigglypuff a berry to hold. That's a good idea. There, we'll, uh, we'll jump back and do that. That's a good idea. Give. Do we have a berry anymore? We do. Good.
All right, take two. Yes, yes. Scyther is one of the best catching aids because it learns false swipe, which can never reduce the target to zero. Oh, that's pretty cool. Get out of here, Caterpie. I've been collecting bug Pokemon since I was just a baby. There's no way I'm gonna lose. Wow. Promising start. Sing. Seeing at it, Jigglypuff. Oh, come on. I don't know if that berry is going to do it for you, Puff, but, um... Puff. Puff, it's giving you so many chances. Hey, there you go. Heck with it, I'm safe stating here. <laughs> Save ourselves some time. Stay in the ball. Hey. Some of us just sleep harder than others, I guess. Bug. Nope. None of that. Into the ball. Stubborn. Yeah, I'm doing it in this case because, like, it's just a time saver. <laughs> and it gives us more options for our main roster. If we have the Sunstone. I may not even end up using this Scyther. <laughs> In fact, I won't. It's a Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, it has a Gen 2 Evo? Hey, that's something. We'll consider it. Oh, it's a trade Evo, so never mind. Even so. Hey, thanks for the gifted sub, Kalaguru. Phew, boy, it is real stubborn. I see we've got a fine successor to the Safari Zone frustration. Close. The random seed might not be resetting. It's true. It's is it Taking the same number of, like, is the catch attempt going the same? Nah, I think it's changing. Like, we're getting, sometimes it goes more wobbles, sometimes fewer. I don't know if that's indicating that it is still random chance, but it, it is possible that even with the save state that it's 
not gonna work. It is a, like, semi-random number of wobbles, at least, though. Which may not mean anything in terms of our chances of actually catching it. Need way more superstition. Shake up your menuing. <laughs> sure, here, we can go into our menu. Check out our stats. This Pokemon's status is okay. Hit down and B. Go, of course. Hammer the B button for real. Why not? Ah, oh, come on. Mash the A button? Yeah, we'll try that too. Hammer those buttons! Hmm. We'll try, we'll try this one more time. In fact, we'll do a different thing. We'll even defense curl first. If my understanding is right, these balls have a, like, 18% chance to catch it. be doable. I am suspecting you're right, that this, uh, the fact that none of these are working despite resets does mean that the RNG is kind of already being a little rolled on this prior to when that safe state happened, so. Try hitting it once first. We could. That'd weaken it a bit, but, like, I do wonder if there is... Hmm. Could try singing at it one more time. I don't think it's going to do anything, though. Offer it money. <laughs> Bribery. Hey, take a fall, and I'll split a prize winnings 50-50. time. I'm just, I am thinking that it's uh, a doomed attempt. Yeah! The fact that it's also waking up after two tries every single time like, that could be just the RNG on the how long it's going to be asleep being determined way back where. But, uh... It could probably take a pound without too much negative effect. We could give that a shot. I'm down for trying that, too. Like... Does it make any difference? time, though. I wonder. And now ball. There we go. All right, it did work. Nice. I'm guessing the pound is what actually made the difference there. Just increased our chances just enough. <laughs> Gaming, sort of. 
Extremely cheesed and cheated gaming. But let's see if it actually wins, is the question. <laughs> because we have caught a scyther, but it's not mint in ball, as it were. <laughs> Mantis. It's very proud of its speed. It moves so fast that its opponent does not even know what knocked it down. And hey, even if we don't win, then yeah, we still got a Scyther out of it, so I'll take it. Hi, Weedle. Now, let's see. There was a read this prompt a while back, but I was focused. Let's see. In a phantom voice, sing Puff again with me. Oh, it's strange. Okay, all right. I don't know if I have a phantom voice in me, but I, I guess you just have to be very, very dramatic. Let's see. Sing Puff again with me, oh strange fluff ball. Our power over them will slumber all. That's not a phantom voice. It's not even close. I haven't watched or listened to a Phantom of the Opera in a long time. A very long time. <laughs> oh, is Nick here? <laughs> After all that, it would be very funny to learn that crime doesn't in fact pay. I'm raising fast Pokemon for battles. You know, we don't have to keep on running around to random things. We can just go end the match and see how we do. Then again, well, y'all did say Scyther is better. I'd say it's close enough for the bit of someone who listens to Phantom multiple times a year because it's my favorite musical. <laughs> Will it discount the Scyther if you catch a pincer? Yes, you can only keep one. Level 14 pincer has a higher win rate than the Scyther you caught? Oh, we could try. I mean, worst case, we faint. That's true. We can save state, try catching the pincer, and if we catch, and if that doesn't work, we can bounce back and try seeing if the Scyther does. It's worth a try. For science. Hey, wow. Sing even worked. Come on. Get in the ball. Thanks for the 17 months, by the way, that guy. Very much appreciated. Whew, stubborn. Extremely so. Stubborn, but sleepy. Come on, man. Oh, dear. Get singed at. Never mind. 
Yeah, let's try that again. I feel like we have... We have that in us. Ah, come on. Sing? No. Sing, I says. Sleepy bug. Sleepy bug. There you go. We're gonna have limited attempts, though. Yeah, man. Oh, good. It's like, no wonder it's not gonna stay asleep with all these bad sounds going on. Mr. Dan Jones, hello. Hope you're having a fine day. I'm very excited for our stream tomorrow. Like, extremely so. Very. Stay in the ball, Pinsir! This one's stubborn. We might have to try pound again just to, uh, like, after another little quick reset, another one pound, then try to catch. Because this ain't happening. Oh, I've been holding down in B, rest assured. Boy, if you can get them asleep, pincers stay asleep a long time. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Sing? Nah. Sing. Okay, yeah. Try it again. Sing. Again. Sing. <laughs> hey. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's try the one pound, then attempt to catch method. Boy, that's a critical hit. You can do it. Just stay in ball. Stay in ball. Nah. Stubborn. Oh my goodness, Pincer. Why must you be this way? Boy, can you imagine doing this without save states? Mm -hmm. 
There we go, finally! Goodness. Well, let's... <laughs> cool Kid Nick is here, so we may still be doomed, but, uh... It is a one level higher. It has more health. We'll see how it do. <laughs> Just in time. So, we will now judge the Pokémon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third was bug catcher Benny, who caught a Butterfree. Ah, second was Danny, who caught a Pinsir. But how far behind are we, is the question. 368 to... Three seventy one. The HP could have made the difference. Should we try going back and seeing if we can catch it without using pound? I'm really worrying we just can't, given how many times that didn't work, but it's tempting. I don't know how much difference that handful of HP would have made. I don't feel like Scyther would have. So, like, the Scyther we had was one lower level and had less HP. I'm, like, is Scyther... And let me check the wiki. I don't know if the Scyther is worth that many more points than... No, the Scyther and Pinsir are worth equivalent... Well, their catch rate is equivalent, anyway. And their appear rate is equivalent. It doesn't really say on the wiki anywhere, at least, what the, uh... Score value is. All right, we got to pull on. We got to pull up right now. Uh, Y'all vote. Do we reload real fast and try catching the pincer without using pound and see if that ekes us in for the win? Or do we just move on with life? Cast your votes. All right. The vote is that we, by a narrow margin, we do go back. We're not going to spend, like, all day on this, but let's do go back and see. Give it a few tries. Nope. Because now I'm just curious. Be snoozed. Just a bit back. Yeah, I know. We're not I'm not gonna roll back to the very start of the contest again. That's we're not taking that much time. Just to this battle, because we're like... We're a few points behind the first place winner in the contest. There is a chance if we can catch the pincer at full health that that is all that, that we need. Could save state now, you're right, but though, given how the stuff went with the uh, Scyther, I'm a little wary of what attempting to save state after it's already asleep, like it might be that doing little resets with that save state may not impact our chances of actually catching it. And I don't know how our RNG luck is, is going to be 
even just reloading here, but it seems to be like a lot more variation is happening attempts to attempt this way, so. <laughs> nope. Catch chance is determined at bag select. Interesting. We're learning so much about Pokemon. Not that we can go into our bag here, <laughs> which might influence things a bit. for the 19 months, Chris. Bad sounds. Stubborn bugs. Stay in the ball. Insect. Just our luck, cool trainer Nick being in this run. Sing, but like actually. There we go. Bind is going to make this a little bit more concerning. What a stubborn bug. But we're not bound anymore, so at least that. Come on. Consider just staying in the ball. And sir, then we can all move on with our day. Oof. All right, let's leave this one more reset attempt, uh, and once it falls asleep, I'll try doing like a defense curl or some other thing, see if that messes with numbers at all, especially given the pincer stays asleep for a lot longer. And if that doesn't end up doing anything, then we can move on with life. See how the scyther does. I'm not, I'm guessing not <laughs> not any better than this better pincer, but we'll see. Otherwise, we got a lot of a, a lot more game to play, and we have we have a hop if we can use for grass type instead of that bell awesome. Don't need the sunstone that bad.
Come on. Whew. What a stubborn bug. One more. Come on. Whew. Finally, good gracious. <laughs> This may not even make the difference. We'll find out, though. <laughs> I'm very curious now. Whew! It is stronger. <laughs> My guess is we lose by one point now. That'll honestly be the funniest outcome. <laughs> Stumford, as I'm feeling right now, we don't, like, <laughs> if we don't win it, it's fine. I don't want the win on this that bad. It just feels like we're so close. We've chosen the winners. Placing third was bug catcher Benny, who caught the Weedle. Oh, what they caught is different this time, too. Second was Danny. Wow. So how did this punk win? 369 compared to Nick, who caught a pincer. Three seventy-five. Come on now. <laughs> I see Nick also has safe states. Oh, we got an Everstone. That's something. Alas. Well, good times. That's enough bug catching. All right, little Christine the Jigglypuff. Thank you for your assistance. Could use pincer instead of hop hip. Have a bug type around. I don't know. Do we need a bug type around? I guess we could do. Pincer will certainly be more useful than the hop up in the short term. <laughs> yeah, why not? Well, it is a Gen 1, though. Never mind. I've changed my mind already. And a hydrate reminder, good idea. You know, actually, I could actually use a quick washroom break. Let me go do that. Y'all go get yourselves a snack. We will be back in just a couple of minutes and we will move on from bug competition. <laughs> do other things that are past the Miltek fight. <laughs> I hear there's a lot more Pokemon Crystal. 
from the sound of things. We'll be right back, everyone. Okay, I am returned. Let us get back into it. And do some non-bug contest things. Let's back this way. Okay, so we can just go wandering in there. Nice. And just catch things. Like normal Pokemon trainers do. I can respect this opportunistic Pidgey coming here to catch all the <laughs> coming here to catch all the good bugs. Pidgey, please. Pidgey, I'm not here for this. Pidgey, be on fire. Thank you. That nonsense. Oh. Doing this, are we? The world of Pokemon is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know. But I know more than you do. Cool. Nice to meet you. You seem fun. <laughs> Schoolboy, Jack. You did see what I just did to the bird, right? Sometimes, Jack, you learn your most important lessons outside of the classroom. A Voltorb, eh? Hmm. Sure. Have a mud slap. That's a good question. What is this kid doing with a Voltorb? For some reason, that particular Pokemon seems like an irresponsible one to let a kid have. Not really sure why that's okay, and it's fine for any other 10-year-old to be carrying around legendary Firebirds, but... Let that be a lesson to you, child. Uh, here, Hopip, go out front for a bit. Well, actually don't. That'll make catching things very painful. Anything else interesting in this grass? Eh, yeah, kinda. Haven't caught one of you this gen? Sure. Bonk. Perfect. Into the ball with you. And just for a change of pace, let's have some Pokemon actually get caught. Nidoran.
Nidoran, we just spent like a half hour throwing Pokeballs in vain. Thank you. Poison Pin constantly moves its large ears in many directions in order to detect danger right away. Yeah, Joey. Yo, Danny, how's it going? This is Joey. You got a minute? Let's get together and battle. I promise things will be different. Route 30 is where I'll be. Give me a shout when you come. All right, later. I guess if we ever want to fight exactly one Rattata, we know where to go. A lot of trainers out here. I feel like we should go heal up, maybe. My Pokemon are simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my darlings make me. <laughs> Pokefan Beverly. Does look so proud. Don't bite me. I'll bite you. See how you like it. Stop it. Oh, you got a berry. I see. Hey! Fine. Be that way. So Beverly's good for potentially getting... Nuggets and money, eh? I don't know how many slots we have left for phone numbers. I feel like we've been filling the Rolodex pretty quickly. Yeah, let's go get healed up. I take walks in the park, but I never go onto the grass. Trainers always want to battle. <laughs> I understand. Thank goodness for this bicycle. Thanks, Super Scotia, for uh, subscribing. That was a little while ago. I think it was, like, just before the break. But thank you very much. Back we go. All right. Let's catch another thing or two. Fight another trainer or so. I get the other guy's Pokedex sticker if I win. I'm playing with stickers I printed from my Pokedex. Neat. Anyone else around? Oh yeah. Pay attention, please. Oops, I have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. Oh. Thank you. Put the Quick Claw in the item pocket. Let a Pokemon hold that. Sometimes it will strike first during battle. Neat. Huh. 
been a big fan since the early extra credits days. Oh, thank you. That is a long time. <laughs> I am flattered and very much appreciate. I'm glad you've been enjoying <laughs> enjoying the stuff for so long. Hmm, who should hold the quick claw? Here, Whooper. I feel like Whooper's not going to be the fastest. I'll let you have it for now. What do we got? We have got one of you, yes. Thanks, though. Look, check out my bag! I printed out my favorites from my Pokedex and stuck them on my bag. Really trying to move some of those sticker printing... <laughs> ...additions, are they? No, we're good. Caterpie, thank you. Hello. Why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? Sure. Ah, an oddish. Very cute. Let's start some fires. Good. A Q bone. All right. Never can remember what type Cubone is. Give it a shot, Whooper. That's a fun little animation. Ground type. Well, good. This works out then. Yes. Get those levels, Whooper. So close. Hello. We adore our Pokemon, even if they dislike us. That's what being a fan is about. I guess it is. Woo. Big Raichu. Whooper, I think this one's for you. Ow. Stop it. Boy, I hope the accuracy debuff from these mud slaps adds up fast. Else Roper might uh, need a hand. Hey. Fine. Good. Yes. I know the damage per attack on Mudslap isn't huge, but boy, I'm really a big fan of doing some damage and tanking accuracy at the same time. That's pretty great. Yeah, Whooper. 
Yes. Good. My Pokemon. How's it going? I'm printing out my Pokedex. You can also print out stuff like mail in your PC boxes. There's <laughs> a whole lot of in-game advertising happening. Did I talk to you? I don't know if I did. This is mail I got from my daughter. It cheers me up. Print out mail by opening it, then pressing start. <laughs> Interesting, I can ride outside this barrier, but is there anything on the other side to actually get? Oh, there is. What do you know? In the remake, everyone talks about the Pocket Walker that came out with those games. The Pocket Walker was pretty cool. Concept-wise, I like the Poke Walker a lot. There is something to the left? Ooh, okay. Outside the fence or in? I guess I can find out. Let's try outside. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's... Well, we'll find out. It's... 28 is... Dig! Ooh, nice! That don't hurt. Could teach that to Whooper later. Could teach it to Whooper now. They get like Earthquake at 30 something. I think, last I checked. Route 36. Pokemon stats vary, even within the same species. Their stats may be similar at first. However, differences will become pronounced as the Pokemon grow. Iceberry. Bring it, child. I'm gonna read your thoughts. Psychic, I'm guessing. Yep. Look at that Abra. Wiggling its little feet. Get bit. Ha! Huh. Kid, I'm eating your psychic type. Cadabra as well. Hey, you got in some offense. Strong offense, for that matter. All right, Zubat, let's get you out of this. It's a little much. Be on fire a little bit? Maybe? Wow, that worked. Huzzah! I misread you. 
Let that be a lesson. Also, thanks. Now I have to use my last potion healing Zubat. See what you've done. Probably gonna hurt to save. What do we got down here? Ooh. Oh wait, I don't have to do that anymore. Haha. <laughs> can just do it like this. That's so much better. That was a shortcut back to town. I'll go anywhere if bug Pokemon appear there. Can we say Quilava was arson around? Alright, that's pretty good. I'll give you full points. For that pun. Headbutt trees, you say? I could try headbutting a tree, I suppose. Oh. Hmm. Go ahead, Quilava. I'd like you to get some more levels, also. Now, is this kid worth getting a number from as well? Arnie. Hmm, maybe. Let's head about a tree. Can't use that here. Oh. Maybe this tree. What do we got? Ooh! You're new. Pineco. I don't know if I've ever encountered one of you. You're a lot to take in. Be careful they go boom. Hmm. I feel like that's the... That's... Two... Well, I guess it's just two Japanese games I've played now in recent memory that have pine cones which are known to, like, combust and explode. I've never heard that about pine cones in real life. Is that a thing pine cones in real life do that I've just never known about? And if not, why, like, why am I seeing this in multiple games? Pine cones do explode in fire. Neat. Or they just go up in flames real fast. Interesting. Hey. I see you know how to self-destruct. Noted. Well, at least Zubat got a level out of it. Sorry, Centret. At least you can still headbutt while fainted. Lediba. Have we caught one of you? No. All right. Why not? might faint you, but we'll see. And hey, nice. Ladybaw is definitely very cute. In the ball, please. Hey, there we go. 
And now we've cleared out all those regular Pokeballs from our inventory. Five star. <laughs> this game's quite biased. It is timid and clusters together with others. The fluid secreted by its feet indicates its location. Its stats suck. The game very specifically said five star. I'm getting mixed messages about Letty Buzz quality. Hoot hoot, hello. We have one of you already, but <laughs> when you're sleeping, because it's the daytime. That's cute. <laughs> That's very cute. Fainted. Centrets. Real great at headbutting. There's another one of you. Maybe don't faint it. Oof, okay, this one's sturdy. I see fainting it too quickly will not be an issue. Great ball, let's go! Yeah! What are you? This is... This is maybe the first Pokémon I've encountered so far in these streams, which I don't know if I have ever seen before. Or at least I certainly don't remember it. Bagworm. It spits out a fluid that it uses to glue tree bark to its body. The fluid hardens when it touches air. So yeah, this is like the first time I've encountered a pine, uh, a, uh, well, pine cone, but also <laughs> Pokemon I have zero familiarity with. Neat. Could make a neat, decent tanky addition to the team. Let's go. Well, I got to get back to a uh, Poke Center anyway. Let's get healed up and we can use that as a chance to look at Pineco. And see what the heck it is. What's TM4? Rollout. Ooh, nice. If I catch a mill tank, we know who to teach that to. What kinds of balls do you use? That's a very personal question for someone you just met. Dan, you love Pineco and its Evo? I, we might. Maybe we should go to the team. Could happen. Hmm. You can take this one, Zubat. Very good hit, Zubat. Pidgeotto, hmm? Yeah, let, let's give Hopip another little levels bump. You're very cute. But all your moves are not the most helpful right now. Thanks for the reminder on YouTube. I thought I was already following here. <laughs> you're welcome. I, I suspect you're not alone in that. I think, like, we announced this Twitch channel almost two years ago at this point. I expect there are a lot of people who, 
checked it out and were curious, but didn't end up following. And I was also not streaming all that much at the time either, so, like, I suspect that there's a fair number of people who follow us on Playframe over on YouTube who would be interested in seeing Pokemon playthroughs and didn't realize they were happening, so... So I decided to add that to the video announcing tomorrow's <laughs> combo randomizer thing. Just for the people who'd like to... maybe like to know about that. Good. Let's get back and heal. Does Hoppip know any attack moves yet? Not yet. Not yet. I got an Abra here, but I'm guessing they teleport very quickly. There, yeah, we'll try. Nah. Yep, and there it goes. We'll need somebody. We'll need somebody who can make it sleep. Just as well, we wouldn't be using an Abra anyway. about Pineco. Okay, bug type. Tackle, protect, and self-destruct. A tanky bug. Hmm. We haven't really... Have we had a bug type really be of main... like maining on our team since Butterfree? I don't know if we have. We got some good bug options this time around. Who would we stop using, though, to do it? That's the problem. I guess we've got this egg that we're still kind of waiting to uh, clear out. Once the egg hatches, unless it's something we really want, though, we could go ahead and swap in uh, Pineco for the time being. It is Dan Jones approved. Yeah, let's let the egg hatch, uh, hatch, which really I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. We have been running around a lot. Pichu. <laughs> there is also Pichu, which might be in the egg. Who knows? Pichu. If Pichu is in the egg, we do definitely need to give Pichu some time. We do lack electric types. The problem is we couldn't evolve the Pichu. Which I think might come back to bite us long term. What does the egg status say? You can always check. It's making sounds inside. It's gonna hatch soon. Good. Back on the road. Oh, thank you for the five gifted subs, Baha Bali. Appreciate it. What's in this grass? <laughs> Why would you want to evolve beyond this cutie pie? It is extremely cute. I do worry its combat effectiveness might fall off a little bit. If not evolved at some point. Even its evolved form started suffering a little bit in Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. 
Let's put that to the test. Child. You got a Tangela. And a very overinflated youthful confidence. Schoolboy Allen can give you Firestones, but there are no Johto specific Pokemon which evolve via Firestone. Good to know. I'm not sure the kid's gonna give me a Firestone after this. If the egg has a shiny Pichu, that, that'll be a mainstay on our team for the entire run. Guaranteed. <laughs> If we get any Johto shiny, it's, that's like, we will structure all the rest of our team around that get. <laughs> it's non-optional. And it, like, shinies which aren't ones that you just get by default, like the red Gyarados, no. And that's also not a Johto one, but you know what I mean. I'm the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. I bet it would be shocked out of its disguise if you soaked it. I know, I'll tell my sis and borrow her water bottle. Uh, thank you. Um. Wiggle, wiggle. I don't suppose I can just use any old water move on you. Could use cut, which seems mean. Should we go buy water from a vending machine? Or is there like a different water thing you need? Go to the building next door to the gym. Got it. We kind of re need to, like, restock on items, too. Hey, that one worked. Nice. Welcome to my hard drive. It hypnotizes itself so that it can teleport it away when it senses danger, even if it's asleep. No thanks, Pidgey. I'm good. Well, it's a good thing they give you the bike and golden rod, because you sure do need to run back here somewhat frequently. The flower shop, right. Now I remember the flower shop. When I told my sis about the jiggly tree, she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll lend me her water bottle. Good luck with that. Not a pushover. Oh, you're better than Whitney. You'll be okay then. Here's the squirt bottle. Thank you. Weird. Quick heal up, and then to the store to restock on Pokeballs and potions. Kind of short on both. Hey, yeah, thanks for subscribing, Vulpim. Enjoy the emotes and whatnot. Let's see, I'll take a good handful of these, and more of these. Eh, 
Eh, a couple more. There we go. Hydrate reminder, that's a good idea. Let's go try... Spritzing the Wiggly Tree, which... Said out loud does sound ridiculous, but... I'm led to believe it will get results. Then let's head to the next town. Maybe save before talking to the tree. That sounds like good advice. There we are. Alright, sup, tree? It's a weird tree. You squirt bottle? Yes. The weird tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. This is very Undertale kind of text. Hello, Sudo Wudo. You bizarre thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember now. You are, for some reason, rock type. Have some water. Goodness. Strong thing. Mimic. What? What are you doing? Now? Yeah, I guess now you know water gun. Congrats. Get in the ball, please. Hey! Fine, be that way. Alright, well a quick attack will soften it up just a little bit more. Without killing it, almost definitely. Yeah, good. No, oh, now you know Water Gun. Look at you. Planning ahead. There we go. You are caught. Imitation. If a tree branch shakes when there is no wind, it's a pseudo-wudo, not a tree. It hides from the rain. <laughs> uh, nice. Well, I guess if we need a rock type... We've now got our Johto option. No thanks, birds and abras. I'm good. Oh! Never mind. Goodness, you look very angry, this gen, Growlithe. You used to be so chill and cute.
And now you're fierce. Nice. There we go. Puppy. It controls a big territory. If it detects an unknown smell, it roars loudly to force out the intruder. Good dog. And another good dog, but one we have caught. And now, yet again, we start trying to venture toward the next town. Boy, it's nice just being able to hit select to mount a bike. Or just clicking on a shrub to use cut. Big improvement. What's out here? Use dig to return to the entrance of any place. It's a convenient uh, for exploring caves and other landmarks, right? Okay. Route 37 that way. What's this way? Is this the way back to... Yeah! Nice. Nice new way right back to Violet City. Convenient. I wondered if this was the same pseudo-budo. Route 37... or... Ooh! Trees. Lots of trees. Hey, you're right, we can deliver small bird. Wait a minute. Packs full. How could this happen? Huh? Ooh! Why, I dare say, the egg is hatching. What do we get? Oh! Look at you! Ella kid! We got an electric type. Amazing. This isn't where I wanted meant to go. Let's see. Pre-evolution should be allowed. Oh, they're, they're allowed. Just to, uh... We have to decide if we actually... If we're going to use a Pokemon and intentionally not evolve it to keep it in a Johto form, we need to be real sure about it, because that's going to involve... We're going to have to pour a lot of levels into that thing to make it usable or worthwhile. So it's allowed, but we need to be very sure we're willing to commit to that long term. <laughs> Danny? 
It's Gina. Is this about time? My hop and I are getting more in sync with each other. But, you know, I still haven't caught Pidgey. It's getting past frustrating. Bye. Let's chat again. <laughs> Good talk. Let's see. Note you must talk to the man in blue who is standing by the tree to get access to another field TM akin to headbutt, and unlike headbutt, the move can be good for traversal. Oh. Good to know. Uh. There's probably some items we can. Well, we can check and see what mom got us. A repel. Hey, why not? But let's also deposit some things we don't really need right now. Um. This can be stored for now. Same. That too. know if I should be... Well, I got these berries for status effects, but it seems like a really situational thing that's kind of doubling up with my just regular use items. I might store them until I know they've got a fight coming up that'd be helpful. Black Capricorn can be stored until we're actually back in Azalea or whatever that town was. There, now we've made a little room. Now, I don't think we're actually going to be fighting with Elekid. Glad to have you, but... Let us withdraw Pineco. Get everyone healed up. Okay. Did I talk to you? It was around three years ago. Team Rocket was up to no good with Pokemon, but justice prevailed. A young yeah, okay. Write the mail. Where do we go to even get that? In here, I guess? Randy, is that the one? Put in pack. No. What do we do with this? Do we need to bring... Oh, okay. Do we need to... Here, hang... Okay, all right, all right. I have plan. Be a bit of a hassle, but... It's a good time to do it. Withdraw. Where are you? Uh, you might be in the other box. I think you are.
Withdraw! Kenya! There you are. Then... Mailbox. Randy. Attach mail? Yeah. There we go. Okay. That was a lot of shuffling. Now let's find who this goes to. Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. Oh, thank you. That happens to be rock smash. You can shatter rocks with just a single well-aimed smack. If any rocks are in your way, just smash them up. Nice. Where was the guy, though? Was he before Violet Town or after? What's up here? It's before. Okay, good to know. I'll head further that away soon. I appreciate that you can keep riding the bike. Even just riding through those little places. Are you the one? Uh-huh. What's that? You have mail for me. Sure do. Here you go. It's strapped to this bird. Let's see. Dark cave leads to another road. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks for bringing this to me. My friend's a good guy, and you're swell, too. I'd like to do something good in return, too. Yeah, I know, I want you to have this. His nightmare. It's a wicked move that steadily cuts the HP of a sleeping enemy. Oh, that's scary. I don't have bad dreams. Well, thank you. Oh, there. Got that sorted. For hidden items in crevices like that, you need to investigate the last tile you can stand on. Okay, I thought I did back there. Well, let's try it again. Ah, there we go, okay. Investigate before standing on it, I see. Okay. Might as well get our Pineco back in the squad. Right, right, change box. Of course. Co withdraw. All right. Back on the road. Hello. Anne and I are in this together. And very cute. Anne and Anne with an E. That's... Cruel.
cool naming choices from y'all's parents. Although I guess they decided they only wanted to have to memorize one name and they wanted to kind of head off that game Twins play where they try to fool you that they're the other one. They're just heading off that game at the pass. Can't fool me, you're both Anne. Go clean your room. Clefairy, eh? Let's get someone else in here. Here, Pineco. Odd thing. Pinecoin Quilava, you two share experience on this. Gotta start slowly working Quilava up to final evolution. Weird choice, Clefairy, but thank you. Nice to meet you, kids. Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Psychic Greg. You sound like a Venture Brothers character, Psychic Greg. Nice to meet you. You dare. Ah. Be on fire. Be more on fire. Continue being on fire. Psychic Greg, when are you going to show me this scary sleep thing? I lost. That's pretty sad. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more. I did thwart you a bit, I suppose. What do we got? Ah, big bird. Um, I'm liking our crew pretty well. I'm wondering how 
how good our coverage is or is going to be. I feel like there's a lot of gaps. Not that I think we're, like, actually committing to this collection of six Pokemon for the rest of the run or anything, but... Kind of feels like there's a fair amount of types we don't have perfect answers for. At Critique City, we made it to a new place! Finally, I'm going to practice at the dance theater. Care to join me? That sounds fun. How are the Pokemans? Quite good. Um, oh, hello. Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Danny, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye What? I'm not sure I follow. Morty, the gym leader, is so cool. His Pokemon are really tough, too. Hmm, wonder what type of gym we're in for. The way the Kimono Girls dance is marvelous, just like the way they use their Pokemon. Oh, that's what lets you trade with red, blue, and yellow. Oh, neat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Lake of Rage. The appearance of a Gyarados Swarm. I smell a conspiracy. I know it. <laughs> Sell me things. Eh. I'm good for now. Thank you. Yet another very good town theme. They've been pretty much hit after hit thus far. The Mystic Seer of the Future. This might be the Psychic Gym. I was trying to remember what the gym type uh, type was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gym type was back in... Uh, red, blue, and yellow, and I think it was a ghost type that just had psychics in it. It was one or the other. And I <laughs> couldn't remember for sure. Oh, you're an adventurer with your you're on an adventure with your Pokemon? Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? I guess so. Good. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. Oh. There are many items laying about that aren't obvious. Use Item Finder to check out if there is an item on the ground near you. It doesn't show the exact spot, so you'll have to look yourself. Oh yeah, I heard there are items in Ecritique's Burned Tower. We'll see. If it's a thing I actually have to like go into a menu to use, I will never. History of Ecritique. Want to read it? Sure. In Ecritique, there were two towers. Each tower was the roost of powerful flying Pokemon. But one of the towers burned to the ground. The two Pokemon haven't been seen since. Keep reading? I guess. Ecritique was also home to three Pokemon that raced around the town. They were said to have been born of water, lightning, and fire. But they could not contain their excessive power. So they say the three ran like the wind off into the grassland. Neat. Oh, you can attach the item finder to select, I see. There is one small problem with that in that I enjoy riding a bike. What do you want, Anthony? Hey, is this Danny? Yes, you know, 
Who else would answer this phone? This is Anthony, the hiker. Are your Pokemon as feisty as ever? My Geodude and me, we have energy to burn. We hike up mountains every day to work out all our energy. Lately, I've been running across Wild Spearow quite often. They're easily taken care of. Oh, all right then, be good. Thanks, Anthony. Is there really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. What are we talking about? This happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and a dragon. I heard a rumor about Olvine Lighthouse. Olivine. The Pokemon that serves as the beacon fell ill. Sounds like they're in trouble. Hmm. A historical city, where the past meets the present. Ah, child, have you learned to dance like the Kimono Girls? If you go to their dance theater, an odd old man will give you something nice, I hear. You're not... You're not selling it super well so far, but... Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokémon. I always challenge them, but have never even left a scratch. Lassie, if you can defeat all the Kimono Girls, I'll give you a gift. I'll try. That man's always with his ride on. Says he wants a Pokémon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokémon? That's the only thing I can guess. The Kimono Girls are so beautiful, but they have to go through rigorous training. And they have to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. But if you love something, anything's possible. I suppose. I'll introduce myself, I suppose. Maybe worth saving. So, um... You have lovely Pokémon. May I see them in battle? Sure. Oh, you have a good sprite. Ooh, a Flareon. Cool. Whooper! Someone to see you. Pretty strong for not very effective. Pretty weak for super effective. We're the same level. Zubat, maybe you can sort this out. Unevolved stats. Ah, oh, that makes sense. We can't be that far from Quagsire or whatever. No. Be confused. Nah. Oh dear. Better pull in someone else. Not that we have a lot of great options, but Quilava will at least be able to withstand the fire. This'll work. How's the uh, randomizer tomorrow going to work? Uh, it'll, we'll basically be using a site called Archipelago, uh, which is sort of like a multi-world randomizer site type thing uh, that's it's a little complicated to set up, but it supports several dozen different games uh, with their randomizers where you can kind of set it up to where you can play randomizers with other people where all of the randomized items are shuffled across both games. So 
I'll be playing Hollow Knight, Dan will be playing Ocarina of Time, and we will be finding items both from our game and each other's games in our game, if that makes sense. So, uh, it'll be a good time. So you're playing through the website? Not really through it, it's just the website is, like, being host to kind of the randomizing, uh, logic. It doesn't, it doesn't modify the actual game itself. Like, you, you do have to use mods in the game that support it, but, like, the, the, and you can host the, uh, multi-world stuff locally on your machine if you want to, but it, through the site, is a little bit easier. It's a little finicky, but it's very cool. Uh... Make room for Confuse Ray? Probably. Hmm. What time will the thing tomorrow be? It'll be at noon Pacific time. So about an hour later than this stream started. Should, so Confuse Ray should replace Supersonic? I'm, I'm going to look them both up because I'm just curious. Supersonic is just a decent percent chance to Confuse. Confuse Ray. In Gen 2. Sinister Flash of Light makes the target confuse. Special ghost type move. 100% accuracy, though. So just a more accurate confuse move, huh? Nice. So yeah, that's just... Supersonic, but better. Nice. No, oh, you are very strong. Likewise, took three of my crew to withstand your Flareon. Okay. Let's introduce ourselves to another. Hello. I always dance with my Pokemon. Of course, I also train them. And... Gonna be seeing some Eevees and Eeveelutions, are we? Is Bite gonna work on you? I feel like it might. Don't do that. That hurts. The bat. Hey! Woo! Zoo bat. Goodness. Way to hang in there, but, um... Maybe we better... We really need to evolve more of our crew. We're a little underleveled across, like, on average, I feel like. Might want to start locking down the team. It's honestly pretty hard to do when you don't know what is coming and what you might want to swap to. So, like, I, I like I don't doubt the wisdom in locking down the team so you can make sure that all the experience you're getting is going toward, toward, toward that core crew, but, like, that's really only something you could do if you're comfortable just turning down whatever you might catch in the future. Mom, I'm kind of doing a thing right now. Thanks for the item. Yeah, I also kind of feel like we don't have enough type coverage right now to uh, lock down a team selection. I feel like I'm liking a lot of the ones we have, but I'm not 100% sold on committing to uh, everyone we have here. 
that's worth kind of examining. Like, looking at our... Looking at our lineup and seeing which ones we're kind of feeling, like... Committed to. Because, like, our starter Quilava, obviously, our fire type is locked in. Um... I'm enjoying Whooper a lot, and I'm down for sticking with Whooper and evolving Whooper. Unless we find some better water and or ground option. Whooper's been pretty fun. Sintret's mostly just there for HM help, so Sintret could be, like, uh, swapped out longer term. If we catch some high level, like, down the road when we catch, like, a Legendary or whatever, that that one might swap in for Sintret when we're actually doing fights or whatever, you know? Sticking with Zubat all the way to Crobat, I am tentatively good and committed to, since folks are just a big fan of Crobat here. <laughs> Hopip is kind of a question mark. It's going to be fine enough as a grass type. Like, but we might find something that's just better than having a grass type. And Pineco, I'm enjoying the idea of as well. Sounds like a tanky bug could be a good time. I'm a little less sure of these two. I guess at the end of the day, Quilava is the only one I'm really sure about, and Whooper and Zubat are kind of like almost definitely, but I could be convinced otherwise. These two, we'll see. Pineco being Dan Jones approved does definitely bump it up a full letter grade. In my estimation. Now, if Mareep was in Crystal, Mareep would be a, a locked in as well. Sadly, Mareep is not in Crystal. We don't necessarily need grass. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well. Not, not that this is a good way to judge it, but like, we had a Bulbasaur in Gen 1, but if I felt like we barely had reason to use Bulbasaur ever. And that was Gen 1. Gen 2 is a totally different game, but you can get by without a grass type. <laughs> but yeah, so like I all that to say, I don't think we can fully really lock anything in. I don't I don't feel like I've I am confident in the lineup. But it does mean that that's, like, a good reason to invest more experience in the ones I am certain about. And the less sure I am about the using that Pokemon long-term, make it lower priority for leveling at this time. So at least the experience we're getting now is going where we want it. Who's next? And what EV do you have for us? We are all healed, right? I'm pretty sure I did the... Yeah, okay. Isn't my barrette pretty? Oh, a Pokemon battle. I'm calling... Jolteon. Dang. <laughs> Umbreon. If we get an Umbreon, that could I could see that being one of our core. Or an Espeon, either one, but I, someone in chat said Umbreon is pretty rad. I'm down with Umbreon as a pick if we can get it. I'd love to have an Evolution in there, so I guess Espeon or Umbreon, I we I'm down to commit to either one of those if we can get it. So what's... Alright, what's Dark Week 2? It's new, I'm not familiar. Dark is weak to fighting and bugs. Well, my bug's level 10. I don't think that's going to be very useful. It's not weak to psychic or ghosts or dark. Otherwise... Do what you want. <laughs> So 
So not bite, but we can swift. I don't know if Zubat will quite do this whole fight, but, uh, especially if Confusion wears off that fast. We'll see, though. Stay confused. Good, good. This is going pretty lucky. We're gonna get you to that evolution, Zubat. You're earning it. Yeah. Soon. If not now. I don't have any Pokemon left. That'll happen when you only have one. Granted, it was a very strong one. Okay, not evolved yet. Getting there. Do you like my dancing? I'm good at Pokemon, too. Jolteon, maybe? Hey! Called it that time. Whooper. I don't think you're going to... Withstand this for super long either. I probably should have confused first. Oh well. Mud. Eat mud. Haha. <laughs> you tried copycatting me, and you missed. Whooper, you're doing great. Just keep mudslinging. Yay, Whooper. Our hero. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. Thank you. One more. I guess this one's got to be Vaporeon. There's only five evolutions thus far. So yeah, Vaporeon time. We don't have... This one will be interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Vaporeon Sprite, too. Well, we'll confuse you first, at least. But yeah, this one's gonna be... messy. <laughs> oh, boy. Our only hope might just be it doing enough damage to itself through confusion. Yeah, no, it's slowly working out. Uh-oh. Doesn't matter. Go Zubat. Rocking it. Almost. Nice. I like this. You kimono girls are alright. Good Pokemon taste. So what were you going to give me for beating all them? The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. 
It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take it. Ooh. What was that? That's Surf. Ooh. It's a move that lets Pokemon swim across water. Rad, thank you. Whooper. We're going swimming. Hydrate and stretch. Good idea. This is a perfect time for doing both of those things. Actually, stand up and stretch proper. Boy. And hydrated as well. All right. Well, that Vaporeon fight went much better than I was worried it was going to. And now we've got a good new move for Whooper. Let's see. HM Surf. Use. Like, normally we'd put these on Sentra, but Surf's like one of the ones that's actually good, right? <laughs> surf and Strength. Yes. That's what I thought. That's what I thought I remembered y'all saying. Have I heard of TB Skyen? He has a series where he reviews Pokemon designs. His analysis is always really interesting. I am aware of TB Skyen, yeah. I've not watched a lot of TB Skyen's videos, like, uh, in all honesty, but the ones I've watched I have liked, and they seem pretty... they seem pretty great. There is a video I'd watched that's years old at this point, where TB Skyen was making a good argument for why Removing the national decks is a good idea for Pokemon, regar like, regardless of the scope thing. Like, the scope thing is a good enough reason anyway, but also just for, in terms of, as a design issue, the national decks is really limiting on design potential for Pokemon as a franchise, which is true, and, a, like, well-argued. It's a good video. Let's just replace Water Gun, yeah? It's not like Tail Whip is good either, but... I don't know why we would use Water Gun when we have Surf. We'll definitely be replacing Tail Whip with something. We surfing! How did it go? It went great. We've defeated all the Eevees. We've learned to surf. We've decided that Umbreon should probably be on our crew as soon as I find an Eevee and figure out how to make it be an Umbreon. Did they not get rid of the National Decks in more recent games? They did. It just was very, and, well, still is, to, to some, still very contentious as a choice. They honestly should have... They should have probably left the National Decks thing behind many years earlier. It, I imagine it wouldn't have raised so many hackles if it hadn't been something that had, they'd kept going for so, so, so long. <laughs> and I understand why it's a, like, it's an era that fans are sad to see go. Like, I think it's a good choice as well for a lot of reasons to get rid of it, but I understand the appeal of the, like, national decks being an ongoing thing. Adding them in, like, releasing a game that does not have the full list and then filling the list out, if not all the way, if not getting the entire National Dex back in via DLC, getting a lot of them back in via DLC, via DLC is, I think, a very good, smart way to do it. It's like, end result for each gen is you get pretty close to having that National Dex back in, but in a much more reasonable way. 
where you can kind of uh, break that work into several different releases. I don't think we've been in here yet. Is there really a Pokemon that big? Oh, right, we did talk in here. Okay. Hello? Two towers, two Pokemon. But when one burned down, both Pokemon flew away, never to return. The Tin Tower ahead is a nine-tier tower of divine beauty. It soothes the soul of all who see it. Tin Tower is off-limits to anyone without a critique gym spell. All right, I'll go. Morty. Morty, the gym leader, is absent. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. You guys can't kick me out. Hey! Fine. Where can I go? I'm gonna go hang out with the kimono girls. They're much less rude than almost every other noteworthy place in town. Burned Tower. It was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away as it is unsafe. The tower that used to be here. My grandma told me it used to be much taller. Yeah, I... Imagine it did used to be much taller before burning down. Hello? You're, uh, you're telling me your name, but I'm having a hard time parsing it. You sign? You seen? You seen a? Is it like Eugene? You seen? You seen it? Who knows? I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Sui Suikune. Another one I'm not 100% sure I'm saying right. And you are... Danny? Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suikuna is in this burned tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Oh, and you're Morty. That critique's gym leader has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokemon Suikune, Entei, and Raikou. It's Suikun. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Yusine is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. <laughs> I do always love when chat tries to help with the pronunciation and immediately list three different answers. <laughs> So it goes. Hello, Bat. I also am Bat. And you seen is the pronunciation of the of the other character? Okay, got it. You seen and Suikun. Got it. Level 21, getting close. Haha, -ha, I wondered. Well, might as well explore. Big rat.
Rachima's older brother. Who owns the controlling share in Pokemon Company? Pokemon Company is a joint venture between Nintendo, Game Freak, and... There was one other one, I think. Or maybe it's just Nintendo and Game Freak. It's it's basically... They're all the same group. They're just different entities that are all the same... Basically all the... Creatures, Inc. Thank you. That was the other one. It's just a joint entity with a specific purpose, basically, for managing the Pokemon brand. Defeat rat. Good. A lot of big rats here. The high encounter rate. Smashable rocks, you say? We do have a rock smash and move, don't we? Get in there, Quilava. I don't think this tower can get any more burned down than it already is. So close. Maybe a Pokemon can break this. Right, we should teach that to somebody. What was the move? Rock smash. An attack that may lower defense. Is this fighting type? Normal type? What? It seems like it could be fighting or normal. It's a fighting type. Might not hurt having a fighting move. Question is who we would teach it to. Centret can't have it. Whooper can. Quillava can. Pineco can. I don't know if I love any of these options. As a utility thing. Is that a good move on Pineco? Oh, you can buy copies of it at the department store. That's good to know. If that's the case, then yeah, like if you can just buy more. Like. It's a TM, so we can replace it any time. So it's not a long-term commitment. And we can buy more copies if we actually do want it to be utility on someone else later. So I'm down for giving it to Pineco just as a, yeah, whatever. Hold on to this, Pinecone. <laughs> All right, sure. Break rocks, Pinecone. Explosive Pinecone. It makes a kind of sense. Kaboom. Nice. Yeah, Pineco is basically just a little pack of C4 we can strap to something. Oh, a wild coughing, is it? Probably use a potion on Zubat soon.
get slammed. <laughs> Coughing continues to look like a good emote. <laughs> well put. They do. <laughs> Alright, it's working. One more slam. Whew. And then into the ball you go. Day. Yes. Good. Poison gas. If one gets close enough to hit it when it expels poison house gas, the gas swirling inside it can be seen. Neat. Into the PC you go. Let's go heal up. We're in town. Might as well. Yeah, and poison flash. Of course, I almost forgot. I don't even know what's in this burned tower. It's just the only building in town I've not visited that doesn't have a bouncer at the door blocking me specifically. Hello, bat. Did I talk to the guy next to you, scene? I think so. Th that was Morty, right? Pretty sure I did. We meet again. Yeah, I probably should switch to item finder in here, given... I don't think I can ride the bike. Yeah, I can't ride the bike. Alright, might as well. That's about the only circumstance in which I would consider using a different item. There is an item nearby. Cool. The fact that it, you then have to wait for it to, like, bleep a few times, and then it just tells you, yeah, there's one nearby somewhere. <laughs> Still kind of sucks for an item you have to actually hold and actively use. If we use it again, not responding, okay? Hmm. 
Not responding. Hmm. Maybe it's in that nook over there. Gotta get that level, Zubat. We're getting there slowly. What the? No, I thought I told it to switch. Hey, no. Super potion up top. There, thank you. Not ultra impressed with the item finder. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they say roosts here. But there's nothing here. Nothing after all the trouble of coming to this dump. No way. It's all your fault. I just... Excuse me. I didn't even want to be here. They kicked me out of the last two places. <laughs> I like that Haunter's animation is basically just sort of a pointing you. <laughs> I feel like Bite's just gonna miss. It's not like it's psychic, it's ghost. Ghost. No, no, no. Dark work on ghost. Stop that. Watch your language, ghost. Yes. Bat, bat, bat. All right, Wolfer. Mud slap. Oh, you have Sonic Boom, do you? Not a fan. Hope it misses. Good. Good work, Whooper. A Zubit. We don't have anything perfect for it. Quilava, you can handle it. Seems like we would be well served by having some kind of electric or rock type attack in the future. What else is flying weak to? If anything. Electric. Ice. Also weak to ice. So, ice can be fun to have. 
Oh, I guess it's weak to dark, too. No, wait, that's different. I was looking at a different thing. Could be fun having an ice type, though. In future. It's fine if we don't see one for a good while. Just so long as we find one eventually. We also really need an answer to water types. We have no answer for water or... Well, no, water or flying are both... relatively safe against us right now, and I don't love that. This might be a little tougher. It's only two Gen 2 Ice types, and they're right before Gem 8 or after Elite 4. So it's just fine. We'll get them later. Yeah, oh boy. to see that. Love to see that, too. Giving a special attacker Ice or Thunder Punch would be a more likely coverage than a new Pokemon? That makes sense. I don't know if Zubat can completely handle this Croconaut on its own, but even if it can just soften it up a lot, that'll make a big difference. Dang it. I wanted you to still be confused, though. Continue being confused. Ah, Sentiper and friends. Hello again, welcome. We're beating up our rival. But hi, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome everyone. If you've not been here before, my name's Dan. I'm an animator in the game industry who also makes videos on YouTube about game animation. And we're playing a lot of Pokemon games lately. And we don't have a great answer for water types, unfortunately, so we're kind of making do. <laughs> but welcome. Hope you all are having a fun stream over there, Sandy Purr. Uh... Hmm. Whooper also being ground type makes me think that that's going to... Well, then again, it's not really throwing a lot of water moves at us. It's just biting a lot. And we don't have anything that's really well protected against dark either. The art stream went well. Good. Doing some Pictomancer outfit drawing for my character. Nice. I'm excited for Pictomancer. Yeah, let's go ahead and try seeing if Whooper can manage, especially also with, like, the Confuse on there, and maybe accuracy lowering. Well, so much for the Confuse. Youch. Yeah, I don't know if that was, if that's gonna work for us. Yeah, no. But it's not throwing water moves. It probably will, but...
Oof. Yeah, its physical defense is just too good. At least it only knows water gun. Even so. We will manage. Closer than it should have been, but... Hope a stream goes spectacular. Thank you. And thank you again for the raid. Have a lovely rest of your day. Huh. <laughs> That's why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it. Odd... Odd closing statement to a fight you want you've lost. <laughs> Finally! Bat, but with more yelling. Oh, whatever. You'd never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Huh. What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. I guess canonically we are all, like, pre-teen kids. My, like, my insult game wasn't at its best at that age either. <laughs> so while we're down here and not in the middle of a fight... I'm now curious, so, so we have our goal bat, and that's great. And Crobat is a happiness evolution thing. Just want to look up, like, the conditions. So once a Golbat likes you enough... It evolves. Is there a point at which we're, like, wanting that to optimally happen? Like, is there a downside? Like, if it does... If our ha the happiness happens to be very high... There's no difference in level up moves, so evolve ASAP. Nice. Great. Okay, good. In that case, yeah, let's just try to keep our bat from fainting as we can. Keep getting at some levels. Hooray. We should visit Bill and Goldenrod. I would love to. I have kind of fallen in a trapdoor. With a skeleton? With a something. Hello? Ah, another view. Hi. I'm glad that we are getting a side angle of the big, eternally shouting Batmouth on our goal bat. Quite good. Chomp. Good. Hello. Ah, hi. Hello. 
and away the legendaries scoot. Pleasure meeting you. Hello. I dug a hole here too. I was shocked. Uh, Suicune raced by like a blur, right in front of my eyes. For ten years I chased Suicune, and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Danny, I owe this all to you. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ecrotique test chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I fell in a trap door. I don't know if that counts. You seen. I'm gonna track Suicune. Danny, let's meet again. Farewell. And now they're in the world somewhere to be found randomly. Ah, fun. Well, just as well, I don't feel quite equipped to fight and catch a legendary right now. I don't feel like my level 22 bat would be up to the task no matter how happy it is. Chomp. This looks like the kind of rock that's going to take strength to move. Maybe. Hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. Yeah, strength rock. Let's go. Yes, thank you. Coughing. If I'm right, and this next gym is a psychic one, real glad I've got a bat who can bite. Because in that case, I feel like a bite bat's going to take us far. Well, that was fun. That's true, it is also weak to psychic attacks, that's a fair point. In the distant past, this tower burned in a fire. Three nameless Pokémon perished in it. A rainbow-colored Pokémon descended from the sky and resurrected them. It's a legend that's been passed down by Ecrotique gym leaders. Me? I was a trainer way back then. <laughs> well, let's heal up and then see... Right, item finder. Let's heal up and then see if the bouncers at the other two locations in town have gone off duty. All right, I'm going to hit the select button. Err, select. There we go. Might want to brute force a bit with Whooper so it can evolve. Depends on how far we are from leveling it. There are some poison things inside the burned tower, so it, like, it's not a bad place to evolve a whooper just fighting randos in the gym. Uh, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Now that we have a bat, that's doing pretty good. Whooper as our other sort of, like, main three crew. Not be a bad idea. Level 20? Okay, we are not too far then. Then yeah, I think that that's a good plan. The best place to evolve a whooper is everywhere. <laughs> and the best time was yesterday, and the second best time is now. And a lot of people are voting for me going to see Bill, which... Now that we have a bike is not too hard. 
be better to have fly, but... I'm down for a visit. Not gonna have fly for a hot minute. Yeah, I figured... It makes sense for Fly to be one of the last ones you get, right? Otherwise, <laughs> the whole point is for you to be wandering around a lot of these places in order. Can't fly to a city until you've been to its Pokemon Center? That's true. Well, here's decent practice, Whooper. Go ahead. Surf at the dog. Oh, that's a fun one. Fun battle effect. First experience in Gen 2? Yep, I have not played... The only Pokemon games I've beaten are Yellow and Sword, and end of list, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm playing through all of them now, but it's all new to me, so this is fun to finally catch up on. Like, I have dipped into various ones over the years, but only for, like, probably a handful of hours. I've never beaten any of the others, and I aim to fix that over the coming months, years, who knows. All right. Bill, where's your house? It's around here somewhere. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Billiam. Hi, Danny. Do us a favor and take this Eevee. Oh, nice. It came over when I was adjusting the time capsule. Someone has to take care of it. But I don't like being outside. <laughs> Relatable. Can I count on you to play with it, Danny? Sure. I knew you'd come through. Take a care of it. Oh, wait. You can't carry any more Pokemon. Is that a problem? Could you not send it to literally your PC, Bill? Bill, you invent... Hang on, I'm getting a call. Gina, what? Danny? It's Gina. Is this a bad time? Are your Pokemon still tough? I train every day with Hoppip, but you know, I still haven't caught Snubble. It's getting past frustrating. I'm sorry, Bill, just give me a minute. Bye, let's chat again. Wait. Sorry, that was... Doesn't matter. Bill, why can't you put this in your own machine? I'll be right back. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I think Hopip is probably the one we're going to have to, uh... Let's sit out. Because if we've got an Eevee, that is that is a acquisition I am prepared to commit to. Maybe save, huh? Not a terrible idea. I can do this. All 
All right, I'm back. Hi, Danny. Do us a favor and take this Eevee. Yeah, I was... I... Yes. I knew you'd come through. Way to go. You're the real deal. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. We have an Eevee now. Uh, the, the Pokemon evolve in new and unknown ways. Right. Okay, so... We know we're turning this into an Umbreon or an Espeon. So we also know we're going to go get it a haircut. I'm guessing, based on it being a happiness thing and the mechanics of the way uh, Gen 2 works, it is a daytime versus nighttime evolution thing. Yes? So if it reaches max happiness and levels up during day, it evolves into one, and night it evolves into the other. Is that how it goes? Okay. So if we want... Espeon, no, Umbreon. I'm guessing night? Nighttime? It's dark type, I just assumed. <laughs> you know. Okay. This may be a good incentive for us to prioritize nighttime for a little while, even though it's probably gonna be a bit, huh? Till we manage to. We should see how. Evie, what level are you? 20. That's way higher than I expected to get <laughs> an Eevee. Uh, I don't know how long it takes to get up to max happiness, but we've been in daytime hours all session so far. Let's... Here, we'll do a quick BRB, because I need to run to the washroom anyway, get a quick snack. Uh, I will shift the time so that we're shifting into nighttime hours, just to play it safe. And then, grinding happiness is just bike riding with it in your party. Oh, I didn't even know that bumped happiness up. That's neat. Yeah, but then I'll switch it tonight uh, so we can play it safe, and then we'll continue for a little bit. I do need to shift to doing play frame <laughs> edit reviews later tonight, so I can't go for tons longer, but we can go a bit. All right, I will BRB in just a couple of minutes. Enjoy the chill screen and the musics. Be right back. Get a snack. Okay, I am returned. Returned and it is evening now. I know you were jamming to the music. Sorry for switching back right as you said so. But music here is pretty good too. And it's evening. Nighttime is the right time for evolving an Umbreon. After it's happy, you know. By the way, thank you for the 19 months, Moon Decay. I missed that earlier, and I also missed Centipurs two months. I know they're gone already, but thank you to them as well. <laughs> Anyhow, we ride. Back to Ecritique. Gotta level up our whooper a couple more times. Might want to wait to evolve Eevee. It learns Bite at level 30 as Eevee, but doesn't learn Bite as Umbreon. Seems like that might be hard to control, given the happiness thing. It would definitely be ideal for a Dark-type Pokémon to have Bite as a move, but... That's true, you can't stop it from evolving. That's a fair point. I almost forgot. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm down for doing that. That way we can also be pretty sure that by the time it hits 30... Hopefully by then we'll have gotten its happiness high enough to where it's pretty much a sure thing to evolve the way we want it to. We do also have an Everstone! Fair point. And let's go fetch that thing. Yo, Eevee, hold this. Thank you. 
Thank you. Got a lot of stuff I don't need to be just keeping in my pack, I think. Did forget to give Evie the haircut while we were in town, but I expect by level 30 their happiness will be in a pretty good spot regardless. Hopefully. Don't need these, don't need this. The apricorns are not useful out and about. Yeah, bite really would be a great move to have on the Umbreon. So I, I am down for, I can be patient, especially with one that I know that like, okay, I know we want to use an Umbreon. I know I want to use an Eevee, whatever it turns into, so I don't mind hanging on to it and sinking some levels into it for a bit. But okay. Hopefully they will allow us in here now. Yes? Great. The trainers here have secret motives. If you win, they may tell you some deep secrets about Ecritique. Okay, so it's... This is the nerd-type gym, then. Where the scholars and historians operate. I think this is a university, guys. I don't think you can just call this a gym. If you wanted to start a school, just start a school. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokémon? Sage Ping wants to battle and... Ghosts. Okay. Or it's the... Psychic Gym and they just use ghosts. I don't know which. But I'm glad we have a bite back. Chomp. My bat eats ghosts. Maybe that's why it's always screaming. I will change Pokemon just so we can keep getting whoopers on of those levels toward evolving. A lot of ghastlies on this fella. Yes, I do have a type chart handy. I'm not like, I've not got the tab open all the time. I'm not constantly referring to it, but anytime I am wanting to actually like look something up that I'm not able to remember in the moment, I have got one usable. But I am aiming to slowly start committing more of this to memory. And it is working. I'm having to refer to it less and less with time. Granted, the typing does shuffle around a little bit. It seems like the type chart from Gen 1 
and Gen 2 not quite the same, and then it shifts again around Gen 4, I think? It does stop changing at some point. I can't remember which Gen it is. Yay. More levels for Bat. And heck, maybe evolution for Bat. Keep going, Whooper. How close are you to level... 19 or whatever. Getting there. This stays pretty static from here on out. That's great, because that it's gonna be better for my memory. <laughs> Having a bunch of them change on me later would kind of throw everything that I'd learned <laughs> into chaos. A lot of ghosts. Fairy will throw some Chaotus in there, but then that'll be the last type addition, which that'll help too. Yeah, I guess it might as well move Bite up top. It is what I'm using way more. Thanks for subscribing, by the way. LBC Bear. Very much appreciated. Yes, whooper. Grow strong. Golbat evolve, maybe? Ah, oh, not yet. Not yet, wait. Oh, we're gonna be having fun, are we? Okay. Okay. Stumped by our invisible floor. Defeat me if you want a hint. Okay. You know, goodness. Grace. You're a lot to deal with. I'll give you guys credit, it's not the worst gym puzzle I've encountered. It's... It's down there, but it's not the worst. <laughs> this bat eats ghosts. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Give me a mean look. I, was, I wasn't going to escape. I was going to eat you. You're the one who needs escaping, Haunter. Grace, I feel like your, your Pokemon are funda fundamentally misunderstanding the situation. Delicious. What? Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the invisible floor. The path is right before our eyes. Okay. So the... The path... Got it. The path... 
kind of on the same level as any one of these is more or less safe. Gotcha. Okay. I spent the spring with my Pokemon. Then summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. That is one year. All right. Hey, thanks for the seven months, Max Atreides. Now oh, the bat is still paralyzed. I guess we should fix that. Then again, if they're just going to keep on doing stuff like this, they might just paralyze us again is the problem. Bye. That was fun, Jeffrey. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure I have a paralyzed heal in here. Yeah. I gotta say, this gym is quite the nice buffet y'all are running. Can't remember the last time my bat ate this good. Not a lot of new ghost types in Gen 2, huh? <laughs> Pretty short list of ghost types still. works too. Guess I could have just been doing that. There we go. So there's one new ghost type in Gen 2 and we will... Yeah, I would wager we'll probably encounter it as kind of the star of the show from the leader. If they only added one, then yeah, I see why they're holding, they're not, like, showing it yet. Don't curse me. It's annoying. Hey! But I'm using those to win. Ghastly. Ow. Goodbye. Nice. Okay. Uh, probably better swap in since we're cursed and paralyzed and all that. Goal, but... Chomp. It is the problem with ghosts. They're... Like, you can eat them, as many of them as you want, but they're just not very filling. Very good, Golbat. I lost! Empty calories. It's good. Her, evolving at last. Yay. Big doof. Quagsire is here. The big whoop. Well, we've not been 
hurt that bad, but let's go ahead and heal up. It is the gym leader. We should take it seriously. Now seems like a good time to put Eevee up front. To start soaking up all of that ambient experience. Kolava, I know you're feeling a little neglected right now. Don't worry. You'll be... <laughs> we'll be working on you again soon. Get all saved up. All right. Do, 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 do. Walking, 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 and I'm guessing walk, walk? Yep, okay, cool. Well, here we go. Good of you to have come. Here in Ecrotique, Pokemon have been re revered. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I've secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level. I was here for a badge, man. Oh, look, a ghost. What a cute little Eevee. Who is definitely not ready for this fight. Look at that quagsire. I'm gonna throw mud. Yes. Sure, we'll let Eevee get a lot of this one too. What moves do you even have, Eevee? Tackle, tail whips, and tag Alright, well, we'll we'll work on it. You're level 20, but your moveset is that of a level 9. <laughs> it's alright, Eevee. You're a fixer-upper. Haunter, you're you're trapped in here with Golbat. I'm sorry to say. Chomp. It's going a lot better than the cow fight. Eh, you know, I'll stick this one out. Chomp. Chomp again. Gengar! Oh, I thought we were gonna have a new one, but okay. Well, go ahead and close it out, Golbat. You earned it. <laughs> you got us this far. I would not deprive you of eating the biggest ghost here. That's a good sprite, though. Yeah, 
You know, I will confuse it just for safety. Nom, nom, nom. Ha! Joke's on you, I'm not sleepy. You're nearly done! Nope. Bummer. There we go. Yes. Strong bat. Morty defeated. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Thank you. Fog badge. Heck yes. By having Fog Badge Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this, too. Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Neat. Well. Very good. Let's get everyone healed up. I wonder if they'll let us into that tower now. Further this way, I guess. Or where's that other tower? Neither of these are towers. Am I losing my mind? Where'd the other tower go? There were two. There was one that was here that I got kicked out of. Is it usually here? This isn't really a tower so much. Tin tower. Oh, it's further ahead. I see. Nine tier tower of divine beauty. It soothes the soul of all who see it. Assuming you're allowed in. Which I am now. Good. Maybe I should save. I really don't know what's in here. Hello, hello. We train at the Burned Tower, but we've never heard of a hole opening up there before. Must have been deliberately made by someone. Astounding. Suicune, Entei, and Raiko have arisen from their sleep. Is the legend coming true? We, the wise trio, are the protectors of the legendary Pokémon. Okay. Tin Tower may be entered by those bearing Ecrutique's gym badge. However, now that Suicune, Raiko, and Entei have arisen, I ask you to refrain from entering. But I have... A lot of goalpost moving happening in this tower. We're all topped off, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
And I guess we're leaving this impossible town. So, hmm. There's that exit. And there's that exit. Let's consult the map. So... Tin Tower, Burn Tower. This way is Route 3839 going to Olivine City. And a lighthouse and a battle tower and a... Whirl Islands, etc. Cianwood? Cyanwood City? Not sure which. Over this way... Mount Mortar, Mahogany Town, Lake of Rage, which intense for a lake, Ice Path, Blackthorn City, Dragon's Den. It seems a lot more intense over there. Olivine kind of seems like where we should maybe go next. Left is the path you want to go? I was kind of getting that sense, yeah. Left it is. Where did you say you're from? New Barktown. Professor Elm lives over there, right? You've come a long way to get here. Yep. Just making conversation, I guess. <laughs> Route 38 to Olivine. I've been overseas, so I know about all sorts of Pokemon. <laughs> Ooh, a sailor. Ah, with good taste. Evie, you don't have a lot, but do you think you could... Eh. It's not like I have a, another good answer for... Water slash ground types. Well, at least not water types, maybe ground. When's ground week two? It's week two. Water and grass and ice. So if I had grass or ice, which I don't, so. Tackle? Bonk? Okay, this'll work. Get you that experience, little Eevee. Oh, come on. There you go. Good. Your skill's world-class. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, what's in the wild out here? Ooh. Meowth. Haven't caught one of you yet. Stop flinching, Evie. Maybe a leech life. Yeah. Quilava is falling behind. We do need to work on that. 
Like, I have confidence that Quilava will keep up and eventually run into a stretch where there's a lot of great stuff to use fire against again. We've just been focusing our efforts on the bat and the whooper and now the Eevee for a bit. Scratch Cat loves things that sparkle. When it sees a shiny object, the gold coin on its head shines too. You seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about giving me some advice? All right, Dana. Ah, oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of your very good Flaffy. Do your thing, Quagsire. We got a lot of Pokemon games to play yet. I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and call Flaffy being the front runner, like, uh, Marie Flaffy being the front runner for favorite Pokemon so far. I think they're eventually gonna get ousted by something, but right now, I'm liking them a lot. Controller stock backed it up. There you go. Very good. Psyduck, you say? Hmm. Psyduck is water. Yeah, might as well. Good hydrate reminder. I shall. Hey. Don't confuse the bat. There we go. That's what I like to see. Good. I see, so you can battle that way. Yes, Meowth, I know. We have one of you, though. See. Evie, we need to teach you some actual moves. This is, this is nothing. Oh, is her number worth getting? Don't you think my Pokemon and I are beautiful? Are we going for Umbreon or Espeon? We're going for Umbreon, so we're going to be... Well, we've got an Everstone on Eevee, so we're safe. We want to keep Eevee... We want to keep it unevolved until 30 so we can learn Bite, and then we want to go Umbreon. So I guess it doesn't have to be at night constantly until that late Eevee's level 30, but when we're ready to remove that Everstone, we should definitely make sure it's night. 
Corsola, that's new. Don't know if I've encountered you. You look watery, though. I think we're going to be dealing with a lot of water out here, which concerns me, because we do not have a good thing to deal with water. At all. I love Corsola, Dan. It's a really good Pokemon. I'm liking it a lot. I don't think I've encountered it before. It's kind of up there with Pineco as like a very new experience. But I like it. Tanky. Its legs barely move, so if you tip it over, I don't think it can get up. Can get up. <laughs> it does seem to just be a living coral, so. That kind of tracks. Oh, we can get Chin Chow soon, huh? The other electric type? Yeah. Hello, Metasaur and friends, welcome. We're playing Pokemon, I'm Dan, hi. Thank you very much for the raid, Metasaur. And welcome to you all. I'm an animator in the game industry, and I make videos about video game animation as well on YouTube. And we're mostly just playing Pokemon games for footage and fun right now. I've never played Crystal before. I've never played... I've never beaten a Gen 2 Pokemon game before, so this is all pretty new to me. I'm enjoying it. But welcome. We drink Moo Moo milk every day. Okay. Pleasure meeting you... If a Pokemon's trying to evolve, you can stop it. Press the B button during evolution. That startles the Pokemon and stops its evolution. <laughs> Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. I wonder what kind of Pokemon this guy uses. Hey, been a while since we've seen a Doduo. Yeah, a lot of Pokemon types out here that I don't have great answers for. Eh, Eevee, you can maybe take this. With your good tackles. Yeah. Good job, little buddy. Quilava, go ahead. Quilava, you should really learn another fire move at some point, I feel like. IMO. Okay, Duduo. I get it. No more of that, please. And you're done. Good. Starting to catch up, Quilava. Good, good. What's up, Mom? Hi, Danny. How are you? While shopping today, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your room. You'll love it. Ooh. It's the best thing you've bought so far. I haven't seen it yet, but... I just assume. Let's go back and heal. Oh, 
I'll be honest, Mom, if you could, anytime you go and spend my money, just spend it on a new doll to put in my room. I wholeheartedly approve. Dolls are the best get from Mom. I agree. I mean, I haven't seen it, but again, I agree. Okay. Oh, thought we'd fought you already for some reason. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? Yes, thank you for noticing. May I see your Pokemon? Sure. Oh, you mean in a fight. Okay. You also have cute Pokemon taste, if... Doomed. I don't suppose you can give me a preview of what a Hoppip might learn if a Hoppip learned a move that could do damage. Maybe? No? Okay, well. It's cute, though. 10 out of 10. Ooh! Skip Loom. Okay, yes, now we can get a preview. That is pretty cute. Pretty flammable, too, I bet. If I had to guess. But it did learn a damaging move, at least. Yes, 24. So those are my Pokemon, Valerie. You're welcome. Ooh. Berry. I'm going to put that on Golbat. Since we're going for happiness here. Same with Eevee, but... I do not want its happiness to... deteriorate due to an errant crit or something. If we can avoid it. Not now, Meowth. Got places to be. Meowth. I've caught one of you already. Come back when you're something else. Try something I learned today. Okay. What have you learned, child? And why do you have this? Is this your babysitter? Go back, eat it. Okay. Welcome back, Mr. Mime. Now eat it. Good thing we gave it the berry, I guess. Pretty good, kid. I didn't study enough, I guess. Eh, 
Anyway, Route 39, here we are. I feel like... Eh, we just use a potion. We are otherwise okay. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. Arson and eating, mostly. And mudslaps, also those. I assume at this point we've called it on leveling our Pinecone. I'm not... not 100%, I'm just unsure still. Like, I've got, at this point, three that I'm very certain about. Quagsire, I'm fairly certain about as well. So, like, four that I'm pretty happy to call locked in. 95% sure. Pineco, I don't know yet. Like, maybe. Centret will get replaced with, like, a legendary or something down the road. But, uh... Pineco's a maybe. I do like it. I'm just wanting to put the levels into Eevee and Quilava and others first. Chomp. Eh, why not? Those four on level would probably be enough to beat the Elite Four. That's good to know. Good to know we've got flexibility with the remaining two slots. Eh, yeah, let's keep giving a little experience to Eevee. Got to go back to the game corner. Ah, once we can, once I got a reason to get back into uh, Goldenrod City, we should dip in a little bit for funsies. Bite. Yes. Keep growing, little Eevee. You too, Goldbat. Both of you be happy. Be happy and evolved. Who's next? Such darling Pokemon. Let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. Okay. More haircuts. We should go back for haircuts. I guess that's a good reason to go back to that town, too. Hmm. A little bit of a bike ride from here, but you make a very compelling case. Quagsire, you're up. I should probably wrap up the stream pretty soon. Maybe that's a good way to spend the remainder of the time. Bike ride back to the barber shop. Get some hairs cut for our bat and Eevee. Good. 
Thanks, Ruth. Okay, yeah, let's bike ride back. To Goldenrod. For haircuts. We're gonna be looking good. Ah, oh, welcome back in. Team's looking pretty good. We've uh, wrapped things up in Ecrotique City, largely. Uh, we've got a team that is now an EV that we're raising to try to get to level 30 so we can learn Bite and then make it into an Umbreon. We got Quagsire, who's evolved finally. Golbat, who we're just waiting to turn into Crobat. Maybe after a haircut. Quilava, who needs a little more attention lately. We've got Pineco and Centret Sinri still. We will at least get Centret to evolve at some point. Pineco, I like and might keep unless I find something I really want to have in that slot instead. We'll find out. Zoom. There we go. It's not that long a ride. Okay. Underground. You. Give my bat a haircut. I do only one haircut a day. What? Nonsense. Boo. Well, maybe I can remember in between streams to dip in for some little daily haircuts for our buddies. Get that happiness cranked up way high for next stream. Well, let's get everyone healed up, at least. You can buy vitamins, carbos, and such from the department store and raise happiness if you can afford them. I guess I can also just ride the bike around a whole ton. It sounds like that also raises happiness. <laughs> what Pokemon doesn't enjoy a good bike ride? Evolve on level up, so don't worry about capping out happiness before stream. Yeah, that's nice. Like, it is nice not having to worry too much about that. About accidentally evolving them off stream somehow without meaning to. But yeah, if I remember, which is a big if, I'll get some haircuts before next Pokemon Crystal stream. If not, we'll get them, or we'll get at least one. Probably for Eevee, since there's more catching up for them to do before we head out. But yeah, let's go. I need to start getting food and also working on Playframe edits and such for the evening. So let's go ahead and call it. We made some progress. And we'll resume this good progress sometime next week. I don't know if it will be Tuesday. I'm guessing I will probably dedicate Tuesday to, uh, to uh, New Frame Plus again if I had to guess. But maybe. We'll find out. We will almost definitely uh, continue this on Thursday, unless the only reason we wouldn't is if uh, I, I don't know when next week Dan and I will continue doing uh, the combo randomizer thing. We're starting tomorrow because I'm I, 
very much doubt we're going to get that done in one stream. <laughs> And, but I don't know when we'll continue it, so it's possible that if we decide to continue on Thursday next week that I'll do that instead. We'll find out. But uh, regardless, there'll be some fun streams. So yeah, just a reminder though, tomorrow at noon Pacific time, Dan and I are going to be doing a combo randomizer stream that is going to be very, very fun. I will be playing Hollow Knight. He'll be playing Ocarina of Time. The checks will be scattered across both our games. We'll be playing simultaneously and streaming simultaneously. You can tune into whichever one of our streams has the game you want to see or use Twitch's multi-stream functionality to watch both. I've never done that before, so I don't know exactly how it works, but I know it's a thing. <laughs> it's going to be very fun. I'm extremely excited uh, to start that tomorrow. It's going to be a very good time. Thank you all, though, for watching. Thank you for joining me and guiding me through. Multi-Twitch is very, really easy. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me and for uh, guiding me through this Pokemon game I do not know. Giving me useful tips and hints and whatnot. These have been very fun and continue to be. I'm excited to see more. Because I don't know what to expect for the rest. But thank you to everyone who subscribed and resubbed and everyone for all the bits and the raids and whatnot. You've all been lovely. I'm excited to hang out with you some tomorrow, perhaps, if you are available. For some randomized goodness. It's going to be very fun. Now, who's the streaming right now? A lot of people are streaming right now. But some of them are streaming together. Huzzah. Well, I was going to be having to choose between uh, Dan Jones and uh, Saren, but it looks like they're both playing the same thing together, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, they're playing it with just different people, but they're both playing the same thing. <laughs> Here, let's go hang with Dan. He's playing Content Warning, which is like Lethal Company, except... <laughs> Similar to Lethal Company, but you'll get the idea. I've not had a chance to play that one yet. The gimmick seems quite fun, though. Let's go hang out. Thank you all for joining. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye! Goodbye!